Ink. Hello. 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 Can we just kill Ink, Hello. please? That oh, wow. wasn't meant I'm to be a about to. Okay. I know. It wasn't meant to we be We just, a like... Okay. Yeah, it wasn't meant to be a pun. I made that's an accidental pun point. about golf balls. That makes remember, it worse. Remember, remember, that Ethan. That's a, that's a subject that Soko takes very seriously. You know? Remember, yeah, Ethan, absolutely. there are no accidents. Yes, there are. Extreme. How dare you? How dare you? Um, anyway. Dude, Corby, if you live in the world of no accidents, I don't even want to know where your typing gets so bad. It's because I am <laughs> I live in the Corby lives master in the world of no accidents, world. then I wouldn't be here. The, um, All right. Like hey everybody, news. it's Sunday. Welcome to Dungeon Select. We're back. We're here. Um should be uh should be a good one today. Smile. Hopefully. Uh, <laughs> hopefully. Um Thank you so much for joining us once again. Appreciate you. James, thanks so much for the raid to kick off the to kick off the stream Oy. with. Appreciate you. Um before we get going, any announcements or anything you guys want to yes. share with the class? Yes. Um we did this last charity select, but so we're doing it again. We're bringing back the charity poker tournament. Um, anyone in the le level select discord that wants to participate, information is in either the charity select room or the streamer room. And if we have low numbers, I can post it to just the general. We can maybe even j get just some like community members in here as well. Um, the way it works is you just make a five pound donation to the Tiltify as the buy-in and the prize for the winner um will be a split offering between myself and soko we haven't figured out what the exact prize is yet but there'll be a prize of some kind for the winner last there's year, a last year <laughs> there's a last prize charity select, it's a gun it was a steam <laughs> game of your choice oh, up to a certain like dollar amount so it might be something similar uh, it's not a gun it's a, yeah. just a bullets in the back of your head Yikes. shot by soko <laughs> Yeah, I can and do we it. play via well, poker stars. Oh my so god, if we could make like that legal, poker. that's how I want to go out. <laughs> but yeah, I feel like you should be able to put that in your will. to the post if you want to take um, part. It's on Saturday, Saturday, right? Saturday, next Saturday, November yes. 27th. Mm. I'll have a look, I need to have mm. a look, see if I see if I can make it. Um, but cool, awesome. I had the poker tournament last time was a lot of uh, was a great success. So yeah, I did really well. Duke did really well. <laughs> one, yes. I did. I did almost as well as Duke. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Opti won the whole thing, right? Was, was it Opti? I don't remember. Uh, uh, wasn't um, it Ollie? No, that was that that non chair. I could I could no. check our fucking. We can check the history. Actually, the I, think was, I think it was Opti won the whole thing. I think Maybe? so. L let me bu let me put up poker real quick, and I can see. <laughs> oh no, wait, wasn't it James one? Everyone was like, how oh, yeah, so, rig? Yeah, because James was going to offer right, the prize right, right. and then he ah, won. Right. He just yeah. didn't buy himself a game. <laughs> yeah. Opti came so in the, house, the house a wins, game. guys. Don't gamble. The house wins. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Um, any announcements? Uh, tomorrow, Monday, we'll be back playing uh, Divinity once again. Last session of last uh, stream was. Uh, Man, <laughs> was a was a good one. <laughs> there is this one clip yeah, that has been made, yeah. and we're now almost a week later, and I still just start crying laughing if I look at that clip. It's, it's the hardest I have laughed in months, <laughs> easily. Which is a, which is saying something because like I started watching Jerma in the last few months, and nothing makes you roll like fucking Jerma. So it's Dude, definitely worth checking oh, out. There's just something about. Ethan speaking the way Koiba types that just cracks us up. Just the whole <laughs> that whole sequence. That whole sequence is, is great. It's beautiful. Ooh, do it. <laughs> do it. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, <laughs> I'm thinking back about it. <laughs> I was put. Now look what you've done. I was put. Fuck. <laughs> I was midway poop. Fuck. So that will be more of that Gee. tomorrow. Uh, fuck. That was fucking. That was a good time. Uh, I don't think I'll be doing a, a, a charity one shot this week uh, because I'm like I've looked at my fucking schedule and I'm busy as fuck and I'm not gonna be able to get many streams in, if any at all. So, and there's a couple of things that I have to prioritize because we have to do that fucking League of Legends stream because we yeah. fucking made that incentive and it has to happen this week or else it will never happen. So we're gonna have to put that somewhere this week. Um, and Ooh, uh, wait, didn't you see that you might do that on Monday instead of Divinity? No, okay, no, I don't think I did. We, we were thinking about Chief. I think we were, we were talking about it during the Divinity stream. Though. No, um, yeah, no, uh, I think Katie suggested it, and then uh, we were like, no, because oh, because it's not a DS thing, yes. yeah, yeah, 
Uh, we are still um, raising money for charity, of course. Explains more charity and all that stuff. Panel down below. Uh, it's, you know, good cause. We're in like the final, what, 10 days? Nine days? Yeah. 10 yes. days? Whatever. Nine days. Um, home stretch. I got a couple of things that I want to do uh, this week, which is why I can't commit to also doing a one shot, because I just simply don't have enough days in my week. <laughs> Unfortunately. But, uh. Um, that's Maybe just buy know. more. Is when the charity select end? Yeah. Hold on. The thirtieth. Thirtieth, which is the a end, Tuesday. Like, how much is the eight uh, day so week? Really, it ends like December first. Uh, uh, yeah, like, all yeah, 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 yeah. We'll see. Maybe there'll be like a one shot some other time, like maybe next weekend or something. Probably not. But it's like I, I don't want to make any promises. So just assume not. Saturday poker and if something tournament. happens, pog. Um. Let me let me think. Let me think. I think that's that's all I have to say, really. If anyone else has anything they want to share, I published a schedule for like the first time in my streaming career. So that's that's mm -hmm. something. So I put up a schedule for my streams this coming week nice. on Twitter and stuff. If uh, if that interests you. Nice, dude. Oh yeah. Okay. Then I guess we shall get into it. I don't want to. <laughs> I mean, you don't want to. We you have the best part. Oh. <laughs> the party made their way to Streatham on an investigation uh, accompanied by their uh, new uh, Air Ganassi friend, Sai, to investigate um, this, this Lord Fearkrag and his, his band of followers that just burn entire towns and settlements to the ground. And uh, encountering, you know, some 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 guards or, or a guard specifically along the way that had a very interesting uh, tattoo <clears throat> going down his neck toward, towards his left shoulder. Other than that, you talked to the captain of the guards in Streatham and got told that the there is a suspicion that the owner uh, of the magic shop called the Tenth Ring. Um, had something to has something to do with it, and there's potentially an access point into whatever secret lair uh, there may be um, under her shop. So you guys went to investigate uh, in several different ways, portraying as important figures from the University um, of Daramuth, trying to trying to scout around the shop. Um, not learning much, but it was a fun experience, I suppose. As well as um, Brooks going into the shop together with Sai, um, getting a conversation with uh, Vendetta, the um, the tiefling proprietor of the uh, of the shop, getting himself in a little more trouble than he probably expected, um, because as Sai and Brooks left the shop and kind of split up in an alleyway to avoid suspicion, um, somebody approached Brooks and stabbed him in the back uh, as a result brooks fell down to the ground unconscious uh sai you saw this happen what do you do okay um well as i see him fall down mm -hmm. i'll just be like <laughs> and then just run towards him and are there <laughs> any are there any guards or anything around here uh, at this point, no, because you're in an alleyway, like, in between, oh, like, like, buildings, so there's, there's, okay. you know, very they little sure for to traffic. to do it in a place where guards would not be yeah. able to see them. Uh, Brooks, can you, uh, make a death save real quick for me, please? Oh, boy! Here we go! I'm rolling the light up dice. Here we go, baby. You roll a one. It's an eleven. Okay. So you pass your first <laughs> death save. There you go. There you go. Can I try to somehow stabilize him in any way like Make just start shoving check. shit into the wound pressure on it Make a pressure. i think it's good yeah. it's Push an 18 in. plus two dirty Push 20. okay okay I'm not pushing the poison. <laughs> I need to make sure that poison really gets into the circulation. You find a liquid oh, yeah. on the floor, you're like, this must be blood. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Shove it all back in where it uh, was. You and kind of like, uh, you, you find the wound. You, you kind of take Brooks's like top, you like to kind of tear it off and just look for the wound to find it. Find that there's a a small, uh, like inch wide stab wound. Um, 
in his like like pretty much like directly like at his spine, like in the center of his back. Okay. Oh, well, as... oh. Someone for the paralysis. <laughs> the the wound itself kind of like surrounded and you can kind of see there's like these like purpley kind of like like bulging veins almost kind of surrounding and like inside the wound um, Jesus. but you apply enough pressure and and kind of like to to stabilize him to stabilize him then and there uh, as soon as i think i've done at least some helpful thing i'm gonna cast tele uh levitate on him okay just so he gets a bit over the ground, I'm just going to start pushing him and sprinting back towards wherever, you know, everyone else is. Just back towards the keep. Like so you're, like, levitating him up. and just kind of, like, like carry him? I don't know if I can. If I, yeah, because levitate, I can, like, lift someone, like, by up to 20 feet. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if I can maybe push him along. Um... Basically, because I'm I'm a weak boy. My bad. Sorry, dudes. <clears throat> nice. The sound of um, everything dropping out of Brooks's pockets doesn't You're levitate. going to have to like physically <laughs> pull him along with you. Yeah, that's but, my plan. Uh, yeah, you can do that. Yeah. I would say I that normally, um, you know, if say he were to be unwilling, he needed to make a constitution saving throw, but he's unconscious. He's all yours to do. <laughs> and and as I'm fail. as I'm running through the streets, I'm just gonna look for guards. Any like the just any guards, okay. Push it like pulling him along. Just <laughs> uh, as you kind of sprinting towards, as fast as I can. Uh, the main streets, and you kind of like toward going towards uh, the keep. Um, yeah, people start seeing you and and are looking at you weirdly, and a couple of guards yeah. like approach you and just what, what's going on? Um, I'll take out the the little sigil that Rianes gave us. Yeah, the like the, the emblem that makes it so that you, you can prove that you are deputized, yeah? Yeah, and I'll just be... Stay with me. Keep up. We need to get him help. Where can we go to get him help right now? He needs help. I've, I've, we've got a medic at the keep. Uh, okay, the best go, go, and I just start sprinting away. But... All right, um, so you all go to the keep. At this point, um, Elanzer and Daigon, you're still, you know... Doing doing Paper office pushing. duties, <laughs> kind of working. For I just the don't understand what this bit here means. Once, like, what do you once think? Once it's become clear that they're not really there's interested, nothing. like there's nothing yeah. salacious yeah, yeah. about us in there. Can mm -hmm. I just start looking for see if there's any like if anyone's made any like footnotes or margins? Like, is there any salacious. just almost like meme shit they've written about each other? Like footnotes, like they're like notes from this guard's watching. Someone's like, fucking hate that guy at the bottom. We're just like uh, like pettier just, stuff. Sure, make an investigation check. Anything remotely <laughs> and entertaining or scandalous. Oh, yeah, <laughs> like um, they start writing people by looks for drama. That's an eight. <laughs> now it uh, seems very professional. Uh, none, very none professional paperwork. God damn it, mm. so boring. Uh, Tiefling, <laughs> big <tick. laughs> he's drawing. <laughs> yeah. uh, at this point, um, we'll say that a few minutes go by, uh, and after which, Kess, uh, Davian, and Jax uh, will will. Enter the room that you that you two are in. I'm assuming that you, you guys yeah. were headed back to the keep, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So yeah, yeah you, you arrive at the keep and you just you know reunite with uh, Daigon and Elazrin. We didn't die. Yay! The prodigal Fantastic. heroes. Did you have find returned? Some, did you find stuff out? We know uh, where the door is. I think we learned a lot of information. Oh yeah. Like what? What, what did you learn? Tell well, us, please, the place tell is surrounded with magical wards. Well, I gathered that much. That's half the course. It's a magic shop. Uh, Anything the, else? The door is trapped, so I couldn't unlock it with my thief tools. But okay. Is this where we're assuming that? Is, is this like her office or like uh, you I know a secret so. way? Okay, that sounds quite interesting. Um, this paper could nothing. So that is what we, apart from a waste of time. So that was just <laughs> lovely bit of bureaucracy there. I Damn I. I as as a Lazarin says waste it's a good, of time. It's, it's I just good... pull out one of the papers and I've made a pornographic stick figure drawing on it. <laughs> <laughs> now that's hilarious. Character, I just I would like to remind you that the yeah. note that documented us coming into the city <laughs> had the wrong number of people. They were one short, meaning I know, but but we'll put it this way. Which is poignant. Yeah. But but 
Hey, but he's not you think that, but Al Alaza thinks it's a waste of time, you prick. <laughs> You might think it, and I agree with you, but Lazarin doesn't, so you can shut the fuck up. You can <laughs> Just making sure you didn't forget. No, 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 I know. Now I, I know. don't know. No, a La Lazarin straight up is I'm just upset. Like, that's, all, that's all I want to say. Good. <laughs> anyway, yeah, anyway, so where are the other two? Did they catch up? Um, I saw um, them outside the magic shop, so I assume they should be yeah, they're probably, a little bit. They're probably just doing their own. Oh, they were out there? Yeah, yeah, I told you I saw them. Well, knowing Brooks, they're probably out getting drinks or something. Probably. He does seem to have a probably little chatting up, problem. Probably chatting up the uh, person who runs the store, I assume. Um, Very likely. I wouldn't blame him. They were pretty good looking, were they? I, well, I mean, yeah, if you've got... Well, probably not your type, Elazarin, I don't know. Being a... Yes. Being a holy man and all. You assume so much? Well, she was a tiefling, wasn't she? She's, you know. You would never spend a night with a tiefling. Oh. I'm so confused right now. <laughs> as as oh. Aladdin straight up has hired. Did hired. you say that? Did you say mm. that? Like, did Kess say that, Bell? Yeah. Uh, then when Kess says it, I just sign back. Remember? Pleasure. Back at, back at place. <gasps> ah, okay. He's making a joke. Uh, Funny. Okay. Is that a taboo thing? Is it, Aladdin? Like, no. Forbidden it's fruit? No, people Time free to do as they want. Uh, race isn't uh, inherently evil just because of their parentage. <laughs> right, but you know, the, you, yeah, well, a lot of these religious types make a lot of assumptions in that way. You know? That's just true. There are a lot of people who would say that I'm not one of those. My mind isn't quite as closed as others. It would make sense why someone would try to hide it then. Indeed it would. Indeed it would. If they could. Mm -hmm. Which I what imagine not mean? many can because their skin is like bright colours. And they have horns and tails and stuff. Exactly. Well, so is yours, and you're not a tiefling. She also no, doesn't I'm have a better. horn. Or, as far as I have, know, she doesn't have horns or a tail either. I don't. Kind of with the giveaway with tiefling. The tieflings have tails. Yes. <laughs> um, I, I, so. Not I've all really... of them, I don't believe. Oh, I'm, I'm not I don't know. Either. Okay, be honest with you. I the ones I know have had tails. I suppose that list is long, judging by your taste. <laughs> the list is like three. <laughs> it's like, it's like, it's like, a friend of a friend. A friend like... uh, while we're on the topic, actually, like, I have a question. Since you bless businesses or whatever to you know, ensure their. Um, pro have you ever blessed a brothel? I haven't, but I know those who have. Other than with your presence, of course. <laughs> Did they yeah. did they receive company for their their blessing? I am going to be honest with you. I do not know the details. I just oh. know the story. That's and to be honest, it may have it may it may have been a lie. <laughs> I take back that paper that I made the like pornographic drawing on, and I add like tiefling horns to one of the figures, and then I add like a, a necklace on the other with like the symbol of the Lazarus like family on it <laughs> while they're having this conversation. <laughs> Amazing. <clears throat> very good, very good. Uh, Does anyone know? Go, uh, a few minutes go by, and um, since you're up there, um, Sai, you and, and the guards that kind of um, you kind of uh, told to, to follow along, followed by a levitating, like dragging along a levitating <laughs> Brooks, uh, enter the keep. Um, the guards take Brooks to one of the one of the rooms on the on the main floor, uh, and basically just like he hovers and, and t they they they, he, they kind of tell you just put one table. Uh, we'll, we'll we'll get the medic, and they leave the room. Okay. Uh, do do I know uh the you know the room we were in last where we where I got disguised and stuff. Yeah, I'm just gonna sprint to there, see if I can find anyone. I mean, we're all there. Yeah, we're all we're yeah. all in there. We're all vibing. I'll just yeah. burst into the door and be like, "Guys, uh, Brooks, he got stabbed." What? What? Where is he now? Come what? and I'll. And I'll, I'll I'm straight after him. Follow me. Yeah, same. Yeah, yeah I I'll mean, sprint to. Yeah. I guess beckoning Onu to follow. Yeah. As just panting, as just like. <sighs> 
Just get to Brooks and sit down on the floor and just like lay down while breathing heavily. I see him in the state. I'll just be like, do you know where he got stabbed? Outside the shop. I meant on his body. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, <laughs> oh that's a Just talk this thing like to your face, like so, 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 so where did you get her? My house. No, but where are your bodies? <laughs> oh. I'm gonna say oh, that next time. Like Abbott and Costello bit. Like, <laughs> it's his lower his lower back. I kind of like fight into the wound is and I'll just cast cure wounds uh second level. Yeah, sure, go for it. <sighs> uh you heal for thirteen points and then I'm gonna cast it like a second one. I'm gonna do two. So I'm gonna do it again. <clears throat> okay. And Double you know, pump. Oh my god. You heal for another nineteen. Pump it up. Alright. Uh you are still unconscious, 19. Brooks. Uh, with that, uh, the door swings open, and two guards, accompanied by uh, a younger human woman, uh, dressed in uh, clerical robes, uh, enters the room and uh, just looks around. Um, I was told there was someone injured. What happened? I believe this, uh, this man's been stabbed in the spine. Um, I kind of outside a shop, apparently. Yes, yeah, so that's true. <laughs> and I'll kind of show where the wound is. Um, do I see like it? Does it look at? Do I recognize it? it? Looks like it's poison or like anything to do with like um, recognize that sort make, of thing. Make uh, make a medicine check. Hell yeah. Uh, seventeen. Uh, yeah. I'm. Um, I mean, the wound has already kind of cleared up a little bit because you yeah. blasted. Yeah. Uh, healing spells. Oh. Uh, but you can you can still faintly see some like weird purple like. Fainy kind of. Uh, I recognize the poison, but I recognize it is poison of some description. Yeah, I like assume. you definitely know yeah. this wasn't just a normal stab wound. Yeah. It looks like it was a poisoned blade of some description. Lucky to be alive. Um, she'll kind of like. Clear the table, please. Just give me room. And she'll approach um, Brooks and, and put a, put like a, a hand like around the wound and goes to investigate it. Well, I'll say that your friend here is very lucky to be alive, to be honest. Yes. Yeah, you know, they doused him with enough poison to take down a, a giant. Well, he I was mean, pretty big. And stuff. He, um... His life's no longer in danger. He's going to feel this for, for a while, though, but... Um... Purple worm poison. Seems to be the culprit, um... A particularly potent. Um, it's, it's like I said, enough of enough, bi you know, a, a big enough dosage could take down pff, creatures way bigger and stronger than than you and I. He got lucky. He should wake up uh, in a couple hours. It's going to be very sore, but he's going to be alive. And that's a lot more than most people that get hurt by this type of poison can say. So what I suggest is um, take it easy. We'll need some time to recover. You know, no heavy lifting, that sort of thing. And um, make sure that that wound doesn't open up. I will. I'll, I'll tend to it. Okay. Seems like you have it under control, so I'll go back to my duties. Thanks for the help. Thank you. Did you see who did it at all? You... Wiping the makeup off my face and everything. <clears throat> oh yeah, right. Forgot um... you like a half orc. Right? <laughs> <laughs> get rid of the fucking tusks. <laughs> um, I didn't get to see his face. It went by very fast. I saw people watching us. We tried to, you know, move away from that, and then out of nowhere. A man came. So I didn't get... have no more information than that. I just we, tried to get him here as fast as possible. Do we know why? What did you... Did I, thought it, I, I thought it went great. I was... I didn't... He went to talk to uh, her in her office. Oh, God. And... We went out. Nothing 
no issue. And then boom. So it was just him and her in the room, no one else? Mm, that I know of. And it definitely wasn't her that stabbed him. Definitely not her. Is it just us in the room right now? Yeah. Okay. Okay, keep our eyes peeled. Today yeah, we don't travel alone for the next They had people on the, on the rooftops across from, from the shop. It was across from the shop, sure. right? The um, one I saw people, or was it on another... No, no, you were already in the alleyway, and you just noticed people, like, on, on one of the rooftops, like, that was, like, off the buildings oh, okay. that attached to the alleyway. Okay. So it's monster then, so... They're involved in something. We have to wait so you said... To wake up. You said people, right? Not just mm. one guy. Mm -hmm. Multiple people on the rooftop watching us. I, I, I saw them started moving faster. This man comes out of nowhere and stabs Brooks in the back. I'm gonna like start like cleaning the makeup and stuff of Brooks just while he's unconscious. <sighs> I don't know, but I, I know there are, I know there is a some type of place in in her office uh, uh, something because I felt air go there go through uh, the shop to towards her office, so there's something on the other end. Yep. <clears throat> I'm more worried that well, if there's mo if there's multiple people and mm. you know that one of them comes and stabs Brooks, that whoever else might have been there would would have seen you cut him away. Yes, but I was always like this. Oh well, no longer. That's true. And so and is he. Was always exactly. Yeah. So yes, but if they sent us a message, they already know what we look like. I would assume. Not necessarily. I think anyone who has loose ends, I don't think, uh, saw us, really. I think they we didn't really draw any attention to ourselves when we were Yeah, we were very separate from them. I think, uh, that's why they put quite an indirect message and not, you know, put any names or... It was more like, you know who you are. There. Yeah. I assume mm -hmm. they probably know of our presence now, or at least may have watched <coughs> us, I don't know. Yeah. Best we can do is... Wait for Brooks to wake up, see what Brooks knows, and then go from there. I mean, we if may the... have to wait a day. I'll sign yeah. to guess. What the medic said is right, and we'll yeah. be waiting a while before Brooks is in yeah. condition yeah. to really yeah. investigate further. Hmm. I'll sign to Kess saying, well, at least they don't know our faces, and point to myself and the Lazarin. Mm, that's true. Indeed. Well, and then uh, you see me think for a minute, and then continue signing, well... Obviously, some of them know to have sent us that message in the sky, probably what our group looks like, but the immediate people at that shop likely don't. Hopefully. Although they might just know it's by reputation alone rather than I think visual. Oh, that would make more signing. sense. They're signing. They didn't, we didn't know what they're saying. <laughs> oh, true. Yeah. Hey, I give fuck. Well, you saw me, you, uh, Alexa, yeah, you'll yeah. see me point to the yeah. two of us, yeah. so I can, you know I that I said your name at some point. Yeah. <laughs> I just, I, like, I, it's like, do that, and you, you look at somebody, you just try to, like, maybe, like, read lips, it's like, what the fuck are they saying? I'm like, I can't do this, I can't read lips, I don't know what's going on. I'm gonna pretend, I'm gonna, like, oh, yeah. Mm, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I agree with what Dagon said. <laughs> <laughs> I hope. Maybe. She called you an idiot, so. Ah, uh, well, then she... I just start off nodding on. no, uh, looking at a Lazarus, <laughs> and, like, eyes widen. Oh, she's bit. not far off the point. <laughs> No, she's not. How dare you. <laughs> um, I want to leave the keep. Okay. And just take a good look around uh, the city as a whole. Like, how how traversable are these rooftops? Are they um... a lot of flat roofs and stuff? The roofs are very flat. It's a very dwarven architecture, so very just like broad stone, flat rooftops. A lot of like just single story buildings. Yeah. Uh, there's not many multiple story buildings. Uh, in fact, like in the the area where you were, the only more than only building with more than one story was. Um, um, Is the keep tall? Yeah, the keep like towers over everything. Uh, but like there was only like one building in that entire like block where you were with like, where also the tent yeah. ring was that uh, had more than one story to it. Um, I want to see if there's a it way very easy to get to the rooftops and like traverse from yeah. one block to another because it's all very low. 
in comparison. Is there an to... easy way to get like to the top of the keep? The keep? Um... From the inside, like, uh, can I just take some stairs up the tower or something? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just want to get as high up as I can. I and like... like from like the outside. I was like, oh, is that no, like... no, 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 no. <laughs> uh, the unless court. there's some like very <laughs> convenient Assassin's Creed style architecture, uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll just go up the inside. Um, I just want to get high up and like try and look out as far as I can to s just look for movement on the rooftops around okay. the, the part of the city that we were in. Uh, make a perception check. 18. Um, it's pretty far away. It's mm -hmm. hard to see. But um, what do you see? What do you see? What do you see? You very faintly see some movement on some of the rooftops, um, like across from the keep, towards that uh, that area of the of the of the town. Are the rooftops used? Like, I assume if they're very flat, then a lot of people use them for like some of them have like, you know, like, like rooftop and... terraces and that sort of yeah. thing. Um, some some of them do, yeah. Some of them also, as you, you can kind of see, have like little like small like patches of ground and are growing some kind of like plants or vegetables or whatever uh, on there using it as a bit of a like a personal like private farming space and the majority of buildings are all just like the same height yeah there's none that like stand out and look unnecessarily evil or no 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 <laughs> well okay. well David's like, even, doing the, that... even the few buildings that do have more than one story share that same like dwarven architecture which is just, just a yeah. little taller while Davian's doing that, I'll um, sign to Kess. Maybe we could look into this purple worm poison. The medic made it sound like it's not the most common of poisons and fairly powerful. I doubt it's the kind of thing you could pick up easily off the street. Maybe we can find who sells it and then who might have used it where they get some more information. Um, well, according to our map, there are no stash houses here, but... We might be able to find some of the the lotuses. Well, and I mean, we definitely. I look at the poison in my bag, and I'm like, it's definitely not the same. No, I don't think we so have at access all. to. No, completely different. Yeah, it seems <clears throat> like it would be hard to get hold of. Just maybe as an option for leads mm. to search if we don't want to. Obviously, we need to go back to the tenth ring at some point, but. At least we can do this in the meantime while Bruce recovers. Are you signing it back, Kess, or are you speaking? Yeah, I'm signing. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I... when, when we're done that, I'll just gesture maybe to them and say maybe let them know the poison, potential lead. Not so much the stash house part. Mm -hmm. Dagen was just saying we might be able to track down a supplier for the poison. Since it's, it seems quite difficult to get hold I... of. I would fear that whoever has access to this poison is probably someone very powerful as well. It's not our... I don't know. Or the home sorcerer. I mean, they got a powerful you know, sorceress mage. I don't know what her... They, they got sort of a powerful magic user on their side. Very easily links from there. Mm -hmm. I don't, it's a good lead. Definitely, it's a good thing, but I... I worry that it might lead us into an underground that is far more powerful than we wish to upset. You know, kind of kicking a beehive, you know? <clears throat> That's not pleasant. Yes. <laughs> not pleasant indeed. Have you tried it before? Accidentally many times. <laughs> and I kind of like, <laughs> itch. <laughs> 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 Uh, at this point, I'll have rejoined the party from surveying the. Uh, did you tell us you were gonna go surveying, or did you just fucking like? <laughs> no, I just kind of, I just kind of slipped out for a moment, went okay. out the door. Yeah. Did you find? Did well, you're find not dead. Looking for Davian? No, I was just having a look around. Um, See anything exciting? Rooftops, lots of them. Very flat. Str no. Probably easier to get around than the streets, to be honest. <clears throat> Is they open or are they? Covered a little bit. Well, I mean, they're just flat roofs. There's not really any coverage. Yeah. You just run across the top of them. 
very easy to get around. I mean, you wouldn't... It would be harder to spot you from street level, but it's not like no one uses the roofs, so... Anyone sneak around, there might have been people who saw something. I'm, I'm not really sure. The sounds of it happened pretty quick, and probably... I'm sure, but it also can't be the first time that people have been sneaking around up there for mm. whatever reason. That being said, I'm sure they're also used by any any sort of petty thieves or anything like that just to avoid trouble, so... Uh, I think my plan is looking better by the day. What's your plan? We'll, we'll kidnap her. No, we're not... We might as well just... Might as well just go in all guns... She just had Brooke stabbed. Yes, we might as well just enter in and fucking lay away. Well, I don't really want to go inside of a place of business. We don't know what kind of wards she can activate. True, but if one is to be thinking this, surely her place of business is probably where she lives as well. And she, she can't can stay in there forever. Well, we could always. You would be surprised. You. Hmm. Probably has a way to teleport in and out without even leaving the front door. I don't know is if she's. I'd capable. assume the magic rewards would stop you from doing that. Hmm. Well, if she controls them. And the only person who's been inside would. that. The only person who's been inside that room is Brooks. Mm. He's the one mm. we need to ask these questions to, and unfortunately. I kind of look down at the table of this, like, see, Brooks, he's a little bit asleep. I kind of, like, Jenny, like, slap his face a little bit, but, like, Brooks, Brooks, come on. <laughs> <laughs> come on. Oh, Jesus. Well, how come about on. two of us go survey it, see if she leaves to go somewhere to sleep? You're suggesting you're going to sit outside? I was going to go sit on a bench and read a paper. <laughs> We'd need to sit... See if there's a back entrance or side Just entrance. With or anything. two holes cut in it, like. <laughs> <laughs> didn't like that. Well, yes, yeah, but I'm sure we could find something to do. No, I mean, I've I've sat in hides in the middle of the forest for days on end. I can quite comfortably sit and watch the front door of a shop for a while. Worst comes to worst, we could pretend to be a drunk passed out in the alley in the back. We could just drag Brooks behind them. Never. <laughs> no, Brooks isn't leaving this place until he's awake and recovered. No matter what, if you leave this keep, you leave with the body. No one goes well, Brooks is always sigh, and I feel like, well, I guess I dragged him back. I can't talk too much shit. <laughs> yeah. Sigh might be the reason that Brooks. To do. <laughs> no, if Sigh wasn't there, I'd... God knows. Yes. Be... Brooks would be nowhere by himself. At the very yeah. least, you'd go in twos. I'd even suggest maybe threes, but. I was like, it makes you a little bit less inconspicuous. I, I could change but, my appearance if you'd like. That's not the problem, isn't appearance? The problem is having someone there so you can just get fucking randomly stabbed. And there's no one that's just safe. Well, where would some random person be stabbed? Because who I mean, knows? Because who, who knows where they're watching yes, and well, what they're he doing? Must have done something. We don't know. Yes, but if he did something, we were on to him. And he's then connected to us somehow. Then we might be just as liable for a stab, and we can't be sure that they don't know. Yeah, I. But we also can't be sure that they do know. Right, but if we just act like they do know, then we'll probably be better off. I know it's going to be air on the side of caution, and you might think, but I think we have waited out. We wait and see. We've got all the information from Brooks. This is going to be boring, and there's not much else to do. But we wait for Brooks. He find out the information he has, and then we go from there. Because right now we'd be going into nothingness. We... Well, that's kind if of we, the point. If, if we leave, if we leave, this... we won't know if she stays or leaves at night. We won't know her habits or who visits, that's... whether she's that's... panicking or whether she can... thinks everything is okay. Yeah, well, it, Jax's point is we can make use of this time without necessarily putting ourselves in in danger. I don't know if you believe that. You know, and you're confident. More. I'm not going to stop well, you anyway. Well, I have anyway. survived for 300 years. I'm not, as... Yeah, I'm not going to stop you anyway. I'm just... <laughs> I'm cautious. You don't... We're not exactly an inconspicuous bunch. I mean, exactly. I'm... Yeah, we're... No I will cast this guy's self and turn myself an inconspicuous elf number three. Nice. <laughs> it's a good one. 
You're looking very conspicuous as an elf. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen that mouth before, you bastard. You owe me money, you prick. No. <laughs> You're the one that pressed the bro bless the brothel. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> What is everybody doing to fill in the next like two hours? I'm not leaving Brooks' side. Well, Mr. DM. Yeah. What? I'm just gonna you're not doing shit. You're lying on the table. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I, I don't know exactly what you're doing. Uh, I'm just there. Uh, would anyone like to accompany me? I'll put my hand up. All right. Because they um, haven't seen me, so I don't need to disguise. Maybe, hopefully. Yeah. All right, let's go find a nice bench in the square. I want to take Sai and Onu <laughs> okay. for a rooftop stroll. Okay. Okay. Not, not the rooftops that they were on, mm -hmm. but I want to like... I hear a cat yelling, and I can't tell if it's outside, outside or out there, and it's pissing me off. Um, <laughs> I want to just kind of, preferably without getting into any trouble, do a circumference around sort of the, the shop of just kind of going from rooftop to rooftop and just seeing, um, I guess, just looking for either signs of like activity or telltale signs that... There are particular rooftops that are used for, okay. you know, illegal activity. Um, first of all, for the sake of the, like, you know, jumping from roof to roof, uh, I would like yep. both of you to roll either an athletics or an acrobatics check, whichever one, whichever, whichever one you prefer. That's a 21 <laughs> for me. 10. Ten. Uh, <laughs> uh, Davian very gracefully just hops from roof to roof without issue. Uh, Sai... Yeah, still you're tired, getting, getting still a tired from dragging. It's a little tired, it's a little it's less like... graceful. You, you move <laughs> it from roof to roof, but uh, every once in a while, Davin has to like, catch you or like, pull you, pull you along. But, uh, I'll yeah, do some it's... really cool like, shit where I like, get down, I do this, and he like, runs and steps into my hands and I fucking just throw Yeah, exactly, throw him. exactly. <laughs> we look cool as hell out there, okay? Uh, as for... Every time I'm getting yeah. yelled at by a dwarf, like, Oh, watch out for my washing! Or whatever. <laughs> um... <laughs> So you're looking to see if there's any sign of like certain rooftops in particular yeah. being used by for whatever. And channels. I can also point out maybe the rooftop that I saw the people on. Yeah, mm -hmm. sure. If we get close enough, that is. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Because uh, you're doing a circumference around like that yeah. area, right? So yeah, you'll yeah. be able to point it out. Um, make an investigation check. Right Either both there. of you roll or one of you with advantage. It's up to you. My investigation is great. My investigation is a plus three. Uh, you roll with advantage. <laughs> All right. Mine's a plus two. Like, that's an eight, nice. and ooh, be even better a five. Woo. So uh, eleven. Eleven. Um, okay, <clears throat> take those. You go not. You go around the roofs, and once you get closer to the roof that um, you saw those individuals um, on, uh, they are nowhere to be seen. They have definitely made themselves uh, scarce. Um, hmm. You do find some, like, scratchings on one of the, f like, tiles of the roof. What language okay. do you speak? I speak Abyssal, Common, Elvish, Gnomish, and Primordial. Yeah. Wow. Abyssal? Yeah. Then you can find, oh, or you God. can read... What it says, um, in Abyssal, it lists I'll just here, turn to Davian and be like, hey, over here. Mm. It basically lists, um, a, um, how do I put this? It's almost like a, like a log. That basically describes, it's almost like, you know, people, the people that were on this roof kind of like, clocked in almost like arrived mm, at this okay. time stayed this long and any notable things they've seen is all like like marked there carved into a, like several stone tiles in what sort of period uh, of time 
Like in, across one day, or is this across like? Um, I'll give you this. Fuck it. You also notice that um, that tile in particular mm. looks a lot more recent, or like a lot a lot newer than the tiles surrounding it. Um, oh, so they like swapping it out. This tile goes back about three days. How easily does it come off the wall? Uh, pretty, pretty easily. Like you just kind of like slip your fingers between like the, the, the like grooves, and it lifts out pretty fucking easily. Yeah. And it's just a square tile. Yeah, just like a just a regular stone tile. Are there any others nearby on the on the rooftop? Uh, no. Like no, no spare mm. ones. I, I mean. Yeah, um, that's what I was. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Of. Do you think we should leave it here? Or... I think we should. I'm just. I was just curious how easily it might be swapped in and out. I think. Mm. I think they. You say three days. Yeah, this one goes oh. back three days. And so using. Oh, it goes back three days. It so goes it's back like, three days. There's so some the first, from today. The entry, there's some from yesterday. The first entry was three days ago, okay. and the most recent entry was like a, like less than half an hour ago. And they are using the uh, abyssal language. I don't. I don't know why. What's what are the increments between each entry? How long a time? Um, Sai, you can you can make this out. Um, yeah. It seems that every ninety minutes on the, and the last on the dots, thirty minutes ago. And the last one was thirty minutes ago. Yeah. So every ninety minutes, it seems that someone is punching, like you know, making a log on that tile. Is there room at the bottom of this tile for more? Okay, I've got a couple of ideas. Either mm. we go couple of stops that way, something that has something to hide behind or something like that, or we just drop down to the street and keep an ear out because I feel like in an hour, there's probably going to be someone come through. Mm -hmm. Or we put our own little entry in just to sort of, just to sort of fuck with it. That's That's... Probably a bad idea, but it just you know, it's just something that came to the back of my mind. I like. No, I think I, I think we should we should post up and watch this for an hour and see I what can happens. hide pretty pretty well, so I am down for that. Okay, oh, yeah, I can hide. Okay, yeah. so you guys just uh, what, where exactly do you hide or post up from this tower? Any, I'd say anywhere that has a clear view on wherever you know that place is. Yeah, and... are you going street level? Are you staying on the nearby roof? Um... I think. I don't know. You want to stay on the roofs? It might be better up here. I'm trying to think where they would be more wary of people watching from, but no, you're, yeah, we'll stay on the roof. Just as long as there's a roof with enough cover that they won't see us. Uh, okay, for the purposes of this, uh, make me a stealth check, both of you. So I technically could do it with advantage, right? Because of the of my cloak yes. thingy. Yes, 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 nice. yes. Uh oh. Woo! 26. Woo! I got a 12. Okay. It's good to know. It's good to know. Uh, so while you guys are doing that for the next hour, uh, Jax and Daigon, I believe? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What are you guys doing? I'm just um, following Jax. I go in to pick up a paper on my way, and then I find a nice bench outside in the square with a good view of the front and maybe a little bit down the side of the building. Okay. <clears throat> and just trying to keep an eye in particular, out. or um, I'm kind of just looking if like the store closes, if like when she closes the store and when she leaves, if she leaves, from okay. where I could see. Uh, if I remember correctly, it was afternoon when you guys visited, uh, I believe. Yeah, something like that. It was like um, two ish, I think. Something like that. Uh, I didn't write it down, but I, I'm pretty sure it was like afternoon when you. Uh... Yeah, because you got into the city at noon, and that's when. Yeah, yeah. So it was like it was like yeah. halfway through the afternoon. It's so yeah. About, I don't know, I'd say like a half an hour has passed since um, Brooks got uh, stabbed Reno at this point. So there's still, there's still a couple of hours of afternoon left. Yeah, it's fine. Um, right. So you're just looking to see if she like leaves at any point or... Yeah, like looking at basically like when she stops letting customers in to like close for the night. And then okay. if How she leaves do you or not. sit there? It stayed till like sundown. Okay. You notice that um, at about 5.36ish, or like, you know, close to sundown, um, 
she closes her shop. And you see you can see Vendetta come out. See her lock the door. Uh puts a puts like a, a cloak on, puts a hood up, and just goes, leaves. Uh Dagen, how stealthy are you? Um I'm just doing thumbs up. Do you feel confident and comfortable to follow her? I'll nod, yes. Okay. I am not stealthy. <laughs> right now. Um, so, if you'd like to, it might be good to follow her to know where she goes. Okay. I'll go ahead and then, like, wait till she's just, like... I'm about to lose sight of her and then get up to go follow her. And I basically want to keep that, like, the distance of she's on the cusp of me losing her. And I just make sure I can just barely keep her. She turns a corner. I'll just, like, maybe walk a little bit faster to catch up and see it. But then, like, slow my pace again. Just keeping her, keeping as much distance as I can while maintaining Make a stealth check. 22. Me too. Make a perception check. That's less good. Six. <laughs> okay, good to know. Um, you follow her for a bit at a good distance. Um, and you can tell you see her enter uh, another building. Mm -hmm. You see her enter uh, the Chubby Dwarf Pub. Okay. Uh, when she does that, I will head back. Okay. Um, to Jax. Um, d did you find anything? I'll take out my journal and just write the Chubby Dwarf Pub on a blank page at the back. And ah, uh, hold it out. Excellent. I think it's time we go get a drink. I guess we'll head towards the Chubby Dwarf Pub. Okay. Uh, meanwhile, in the Batcave, um... <laughs> Her leaving her shop kind of matches the time, uh, a new rotation of, you know, whatever it is that happens on the rooftops every 90 minutes happens. Make a perception check, both of uh, both Sai and uh, Davian. Perception. Hey, same, 16. Oh. Nice. Uh, you both look across, uh, you're, you're a couple roofs away. Um, and you look across and you see just out of nowhere these three figures appear on the roof uh, that you were previously on just out of thin air just yeah okay I just like grab size like sleeve <laughs> Um, you see them take the tile and scratch something in it and put it back and they sit there like 10 minutes. And then they leave. I want to take note of the, the time. How long they sat there. How many there were. Okay. Did they look armed? Did they look big? Did they look small? Um, like They definitely looked armed. They had they had hooded like uh, they had a hooded cloak on and um, definitely were wearing some kind of armor. Uh, you're not quite sure exactly what um, weapons hanging by their side. Yeah, they were definitely armed. Hmm. What time is it roughly? Like mid afternoon? It's uh, at the time that that happens. It's you know close to close to sundown. Okay. Din din time. Mm -hmm. What do you want to do now? Is it worth checking out the tile? I imagine they scratched the same thing everyone else did. Hmm. Maybe. I don't know. Hmm. I want to wait a little bit. Just in case. Okay. And then maybe we'll go over and take a look. <clears throat> just sit tight for another 10 minutes, make sure no other visitors come through, and then I'll... Hop back over to that roof and uh, have another look at the tile. Yeah, can I? Um, yeah. yeah. Can I also just look anywhere else on the roof for anything that could just make people appear out of thin air? 
Oh, that's know. true. Yeah, they did. Did they just like <clears throat> apparate and then disappear? Like, did they have a going and coming route? Uh, as far as you could tell, they just appeared out of thin air. And when they left, you saw them um, <gasps> in a similar manner. Just they just vanished. Yeah, I'm gonna be looking for like maybe footsteps, anything that could show me if they walked away or if, if there's anything that could explain make, that. Uh, just make an investigation check. Okay. I'm going to send Ono up. Okay. And to do the same sort of, like, same sort of circumference that we were we were sort of patrolling on the roofs to look for three figures, whether they might have multiple points that they're doing the same sort of check or what. Okay. But I want Oni to just uh, Make a perception a check for Onu, please. It's 22 for the investigation, by the way. You definitely do see that um, some, like, foot footmarks uh, that kind of you just... It seems that they just hopped off the roof. You don't know okay. why you couldn't see them, but... Okay. Uh, I got a 12 for Onu's perception. Uh, Onu doesn't see anything. Okay. I'll explain to Davian. I, I think um, they jumped off here. Showing him the footprints and don't know how he didn't see it, but okay, sneaky bastards. So the way they went off is there like on the opposite side of the roof? Are there any footprints showing where they might have like climbed, hopped up under the roof just quickly? Like uh, now that you know what you're looking for, yeah. There's clear signs of them, of, of, of like climbing and, and some foot. Climbing foot. up, not jumping across, but climbing up from street level. Climbing up, yeah. Oh, okay. Mm. <clears throat> um. Oh, did they update the tablet? This is just, the, is it just the time? Um, yeah. yeah. It's just uh, okay. another, okay. another okay. like okay. log entry. Okay. I'm just gonna uh, quietly slip off the roof the way it looks like that they came up. Okay. And I'm gonna keep looking for fresh fo footprints. Fresh footprints that they may have left when mm. they came up. She's trying to like track them, right? Yes, but kind of in reverse, I guess. Make a, make a survival check. I'll follow him as well, as I'll stick with him. I would need to. Oh, 13 plus 5, 18. You do find some tracks and you follow, like in reverse, and. Mm -hmm. They take you to the tenth ring. I think as soon as I get the impression that they are going to the tenth ring, I'm gonna mm -hmm. stop and okay. just make myself scarce again, because you know I don't want to fucking follow the track straight to the front door or whatever and look like a okay. an idiot. <clears throat> um, but as I sort of as we're approaching, mm -hmm. do I see? I guess it's but I see Jacks in the square. At this point, um, no, because ah. Uh, you waited like 10 minutes after they left, right? And so at this point, this yes, will be, uh, Jax and Dyke and have gotten up to like follow, uh, go to the pub. Did Jack? Oh, go to the pub. Okay. Yeah, let's go to the pub. All right. Well, <clears throat> uh, all right. Well, I'm, I'm not going on any closer. I don't want to risk getting stabbed, but um, <laughs> this seems fairly conclusive. So uh, I don't know. Elijah said he'd be wait waiting with. Brooks in the in the keep, so we might as well head back there and All right. let them know what we found. Sounds good. Right, so at this point, uh, while you guys are heading back and uh, Daigon and Jax are heading towards the pub, Brooks, you wake up. Arise. Feeling very sore. Uh, you suffer two points of exhaustion. Ooh, okay. Yikes. Um, you're not feeling very good. <laughs> it's just a sharp pain in your lower back. Uh, you're on top of a table. You're not sure where you are. You see Kess and Elazarin. Uh, Kess is still there, right? <laughs> yep. Yeah, so you see Kess and Elazarin around you. Um, you notice that your top has been ripped open. Um, I would have probably mended it. Like, we'll oh, would you? Out. Okay, well, never mind then. Yeah. It really is like <laughs> a, a friendly <laughs> giant. Just in the last one's hand. He's woken up, he's sore, he's got points of exhaustion, and his shirt's ripped. <laughs> no, his shirt's not ripped, I would have mended it all up for him, because I know how so much he cares. So obviously, Elazar and Kess, you notice that Brooks is uh, waking up. Oh, thank... Oh, thank the gods. You're alive. You're okay. What? 
Welcome back, <laughs> as they say. You were... Uh, mm. You were fa you were almost fatally stabbed. By a very powerful poison. What did you do? What time is it? What time is it roughly? Like It's like, like sundown. Dusk now. It's like 6pm-ish. Like sundown. You've been up for a little while. This is not a nice hangover. Good. It's because it's not one from drinking. <laughs> fuck. Oh, um, oh, fuck. Ow, that hurts. Um. Yes, don't move suddenly. Easy. And Hedda. Yes. She's in on it, possibly quite high up. Uh, okay. uh, uh, there's fucking, there, there's markings on the entrances, but I don't know enough about shit like that. There's a fucking, is there a chest bolted to the floor? Uh, <sighs> Does it seem... Do you see anything else in, in her office? Like this private just quarters? A, just an mentioned? office other than that. Um... I think... <clears throat> I I fucking I I use the phrase that that Davian said to use, mm. and managed to convince her that I just joined, and I I don't think she knew it was me. I I I still got stabbed, but. Mm. I, I don't think they, they they expect us, but they don't seem to know that we're already in the city. Okay. Did they see did did she say anything about us? Did you mention us at like what what did you say? They, they fucking Oh fuck. Uh, okay, take your time. Of of course we're coming they they left us a message in the sky. Um, I don't think they know firsthand what we look like. I think they might have had descriptions of us, but I don't think that, that they specifically know exactly what we look like. But, but I think that's something we need to be very careful with. I think you're probably right in that assumption, considering that neither me or... Jacks disguised our faces before we entered to the shop, and we did not get stabbed. Yeah, well... I don't... I, I, I don't know. Maybe they, they don't know what we look like, but blue people aren't that common. But... I think Vendetta is in direct contact with this lord. Whatever the fuck. Yeah, crowd. Okay. Um, well, that's what we. You have your roundabout way of getting your information, Burke, so I'll give you that. But you got valuable information for us. What did. What did you all find out? No, oh, I mean, I didn't. Paperwork. Didn't find anything extraordinary or anything that was out of place. Um, you know, nothing too out of the ordinary. Uh, the others kind of found out what you found out. That it's an alarmed, you know, place. I don't know if there's anything else, Kess, that you found out. Magical uh, wards all around the shop. That was pretty much it. it. Has to be expected. Yeah. everyone else <laughs> investigating further mm. scouting out the place a little bit more I believe I'm just trying to 
figure out how you got stabbed and where from. In the fucking back? No, as in location, as in where in the town, where did they come from, not on their what body. What goes around comes around, baby! <laughs> what is with you people and getting the wrong way around? <laughs> um, Kaz approaches Brooks and then just punches him in the arm. Like, as hard as she can, which is not very hard. <laughs> Do not get poisoned and stabbed again. At least not when you're alone. I was really annoying. I wasn't alone. That's rude. Oh, I wasn't alone, I wasn't... and I didn't. You were mostly wasn't alone. On my, on my like top ten things to do. Mm, you still did it. Him. You know, like it wasn't in the guidebook. I didn't go out planning to get stabbed and fucking poisoned. Poisoned? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got mm. poisoned. By a very nasty, nasty purple, poison. Purple you worm poison. Dead. Yes, by all, by all accounts, Brooks, you are very lucky to be alive and just feeling a bit worse or well. I mean, I fucking feel like shit, but... Good. Something's got the bigger plans for you. No, I don't like that. That feels... <laughs> I know. That's why I said it. <laughs> yes. Bed rest for you for a couple of days, I think. Or at least a day. You're not doing anything tomorrow. I will... Is my bag with me? Uh, I assume your bag was just still attached to you, so it's probably like yeah. on the side next to you. I'm gonna reach into my bag. <laughs> and I will pull out. I, I will pull out a bottle of pear cider. <laughs> I would protest, but I think you Drink deserve that at the very least. <laughs> The reason I lived is because I've got an incredible tolerance. <laughs> I'll give you that. Why am I on a fucking table? This is so incredibly uncomfortable. I mean... And I will swing that. my feet welcome, off and I will get welcome, up. Welcome welcome to... Uh, uh, Keeps Medi Medical Bay. It's not lavish hotels. As you, uh, like, get off and hop off the table, you definitely kind of... Ooh. Like lose your balance a little bit, and it's you, it's all a bit harder. Your movement is definitely a lot more sluggish. Take it easy. Besides, have, actually, um, you slept worse places. Have Sai and I made it back? At this point, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm. Hello, Jazz. Oh Look who's finally God. awake. You're awake. <laughs> Could it I'm be? Sure I don't necessarily want to be, but yeah. Go back to sleep then. No, because I have a feeling that Kess is just going to punch me again. Oh, she'll probably. I'm, I'm honestly shocked Maybe. she didn't draw on your face. Yeah. <laughs> no, I was here. If he was asleep for much longer, I probably would have. I could tell. I could tell he was starting itching to do something. You're bored. That's so how was through my stuff? <laughs> oh no! Well, I, I would have sure... had to go through your stuff to get the stuff to draw on your face. So don't worry, Brooks. I made sure your stuff was far away from that one. That's just rude. So, Davian, Sai, mm. how been your investigation? Mm. We found some weird uh, abyssal. Clock in, clock off, tablet, where there would observe from the rooftops. No idea why it's an abyssal. Very confusing. Nothing draconic? Abyssal? Mm. Hmm. Very strange. I would have thought the language of choice had been draconic. But these people are very, very sneaky. We barely saw them come up to the rooftop. <laughs> Uh -oh. He died! He died! He died! <laughs> you die in the game, you die in real life. I guess so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Thanks, oh, Ethan. Oh boy. Has this moved everyone around now? Yeah. Internet? Yeah, bye-bye. Yep. <laughs> Stay in by who's, for... Oh, who's, DM? Do... who's DM? Who's uh, DM? Half of me is. <laughs> Yo, I'm, <laughs> Davian, I'm, 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 Jax. I'm fine, actually. Me, I'm fine. me and... Yeah, but a lot of us are fine. Yeah. It's just, just Jax and Dutch that got fucked up. I get I get to be Bowman now. Oh, now Ethan's DM. That's scary. Ethan oh, yeah, Devin's fucking wrong. 
Daphne. Oh, oh yeah, Daphne yeah. and Brooks. Are... There you go. Oh, never mind. Oh, no, oh, oh never mind. <laughs> well, when... Huh? Uh, Ethan's Discord. Go bear bye with bye us bye while we are experiencing some bye bye. Uh, technical difficulties. Discord, Don't worry, chat. I will treat Onu right, unlike Duke. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've been poisoned and I'm dying. <laughs> Onu's good bird. <laughs> Somebody get me a drink. <laughs> Stand by for technical difficulties. <laughs> Time to play my. Unfortunately, we are experiencing difficulty. some technical difficulties. <laughs> Please bear with us. <laughs> British internet in it. It's Thank you for so staying on hold. One person. It's usually with the Discord problem. It's anyone else who shares that I mean, region. Be, so like, like it might Duke be and Koibo. No, it could just be a software it. issue, right? Not putting the same server. Uh, hey, Br at least it isn't Canadian Discord this time. Oh God. That was funny. How do we have to cancel like two or three Canada. sessions because of Canadian Discord? We didn't have to cancel. Yeah. We just like we attempted one because we, we just won. couldn't yeah. work. And then the other one, it was just like a pain, but we worked around. Like it, it got shit together again eventually. Yeah, that was weird. Ethan does live on a hill. That's Canadian Discord, dude. <laughs> like an old person, he does. Um, <laughs> hills are the best. See, now I'm Jax. But now I'm the now. <laughs> Meek Sagali agreed again. Oh my god. I love gray boxes. Hello? Hello? I had to join on oh. fucking. And you're doing scan roll. Oh, turn on. There we go. Yeah, nice. yeah, yeah. I've had to join on fucking desktop. On fucking windowed because the app no work. I keep getting Java errors. Oh, interesting. Oh. Huh. So I'm going to reinstall and then join back properly on the break. Okay. okay. That's good. Weird. Yeah. Nice. Get Java error. All right. Uh, so, okay. uh, where were we? Uh, where were uh, we? Abyss yeah. tablet. Yeah. Yes. Weird. Yeah. We had. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. We had. <laughs> it seemed like they they every ninety minutes or so someone leaves the tenth ring, sneaks up onto a rooftop. Makes a little mark, keeps watch for a, how long? Ten minutes? Ten yeah, it was ten minutes. Yeah, sits there for ten minutes and then fucks off again. Back area. to the ten circle? Or I just somewhere the, else? I didn't have the balls to follow the footsteps any yeah, further. I sent Onu up to see if we could see him on another rooftop, but I saw where they came from. I'm not mm -hmm. sure where they're headed to. I wouldn't want to uh, Dude. worry little Lazarin here anymore. Hmm. Well, do you think we should maybe see who goes to retrieve this this tablet or this stone? I could go. I, I could know. read it. I mean, I mean, so I could read so it. I could read it. So I could, read it. I could read it, but it's just you know the times, nothing else. Yeah. Yeah. Literally, just every. I mean, there, there are three of them. Armed, armored. We know the timing Fucking of it. Fucking sneaky is all hell. Mm, we know the timing. We know the timings now. That's, I think, the key thing. I think that could help us if we were going to, I don't know, sneak into the 10th ring or plan something else. We can base it on that 90 minutes. We need to yeah. find out where it yes. ends. That's where yes. we need. That's what we need to find. But maybe scene... rooftop on the other side where you found that one. The problem is that it looks like the tablet, you know, can be removed and put in with something else. So if it changes, you know, maybe it's not yeah. that time is not always the same. Ninety, it changes on day by day basis. Yeah. They do it sixty some days. They do this it. tablet, this this stone in particular, went back three days, and there was room left for more watches. Three days. I hmm. maybe it might be worth. Seeing where it ends, I assume the tenth ring, but the you know the second to last stop, and see what that time is. See how I assume it might be in it might be ninety minutes round, or it might be only half hour, and then they wait an hour and go. It might be hour. worth well we need to find, and then we can figure out what Jackson Dagon learned. I like know. I said, well, I sent Onu up, and I don't think Onu spotted anything when he was okay. up there. Um. I don't know where they would have gone. 
but given that the footprints went from that rooftop straight to the um, straight to the tenth ring, I don't know if there would be m multiple stops afterwards, or perhaps that there's multiple groups that go up to separate rooftops. Yeah. Always a, a possibility. I should have taken more note of what was visible from that particular rooftop. I think I think that might have might have been helpful, but we we're too drawn in by the tablet to really uh, pay it much note. Yeah. It might be worth going up there uh, at some point, another time soon. Well, we need to find out what the other two found. Did you see them? Uh, no, I think by the time we'd done a little lap of the place and found what we found, I think they've moved on. Okay, we'll wait a little bit longer for them, but... Did they say where they, where they would go after they'd... No, they. I mean, they just the place? No, as far as I'm aware, they just said they were going to go trace the place. And then... So I assume they'll probably be out there somewhere. We'll wait a little while, just a little bit longer. And on that note... <laughs> meanwhile! Meanwhile, Daigon and uh, Jax, you make it to... The pub. You enter and... Um, you can, as you go in, you can see uh, Vendetta at a table, having some food, okay. surrounded by a handful of um, people. Uh, they're talking, they're having dinner together. What do you All do? All right. Um, is there a table somewhat nearby, maybe with an earshot? Uh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. All right. I'll kind of like move Dagon over there and signal for some drinks to be brought over. Okay. Um, and then I want to take a seat that's like not facing their table, mm -hmm. but like has like a side view of it, so it doesn't You're like come staring at them. Elf number three right now, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. Making yes. Sure. For the next like probably, I think I'm for the whole, it still lasts like eight hours, so like six hours okay. left on it. Um. All right, so you're just trying to listen to their conversations? Yeah, kind of listen in, take note of their faces without literally, like, looking like I'm taking note of their faces, um, you know? Make a perception check. Not bad. 16? Uh, as you listen in, the conversation is about um, a bulk order of potions, uh, some some artifacts that she has for sale, this seems very much to be like a business uh, dinner that she's having with potential uh, customers. Okay, okay. Did, did they say when the order's coming in? No. They're just discussing, okay. um, you know, a potential shipment uh, of, of, of potions and whatnot. Uh, not in great detail. Cool. It's all pretty inconspicuous. I'm not too worried about it. No. I'm gonna, on the same page in my journal that I wrote, like, Chubby Dwarf, just kind of, like, cross that out, and then write, do you want me to teach you some simple sign language so we can at least look like we're having a conversation, not sitting here awkwardly silently? Because that looks weird. And I... Oh, we're not over. sitting silently. I'm going to pretend that I'm giving you a lecture on life. I'll just nod. Um, but on the real, I, I, I do actually really enjoy hanging out with you. Kess is a little too impulsive, and Davian a bit stoic, per se. Lazarin puts his faith in things that may or may not affect anything, and Sai, I don't know him well enough, but seems like a right old chap. <laughs> and Brooks, I, I feel somewhat worried about, you know? I just nod in agreement at the worry part. He, not only did he get himself stabbed and, you know, things happen, blows out of his control, but I, I feel his ego is massive. <laughs> not anything that's massive. Oh, and I'm scared that if he learns how deadly this poison usually is, it will... 
As as Jax is talking, I don't want to move my head, but can I like flick my eyes over to the vendetta table to see if we're at words like poison and stab? Oh, I'm keeping myself Do quiet. Do any I'm not, of them like, make this, a reaction? But... What well, no, but maybe what if they even have like magical ways of listening? I don't know. I they That's they true. might be super. Uh, make a perception check. I didn't think about that actually. Fuck. <laughs> uh, twenty three. You um. I don't know. They seem to still be very caught up in their uh, in their conversation okay. at that table. Okay. I figured. All right. I'll keep listening. I just I just wanted to see if they seem to react at all to that. Mm-hmm. I just. I, I feel like Brooks needs, I don't know, something to knock him down a peg. Uh, as, as, as he says that, I just kind of nod and, and write on the paper. I, I, I have a plan for that, but maybe not when he's feeling so shitty. I'll, I'll let him rest for a few days. Probably a good idea. It'll let us wrap up things around here. Uh, and then I'll just go on meandering about nothing. <laughs> okay. The way, the you know, like those old, those old people rants that seem very important but are actually about nothing and change topic every few sentences. <laughs> oh, and just kind the world's changed so much. <laughs> about, uh, about half an hour uh, goes by and the group of people leaves the table. Um... Uh, Vendetta is still sitting at Vendetta is still yeah. sitting down, finishing her uh, like a, a drink of, uh, of some description. Um, before she also gets up and kind of dusts off her uh, her 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 robes, walks up to the bar, drops a few gold coins on it, and uh, she takes her leave. All right. Um, I believe that is our cue to go. I think that is no, that we're not dead on the streets mm -hmm. and i'll take care of our tab whatever that is that will be like i don't know like maybe like four silver cool do you right, follow her or do you go back to the keep no back to the keep Okay. Because we've been gone a while, and they might think we got stabbed if we don't come back. <laughs> what do I see? What do I see? Uh, in that case, yeah, you guys go back to the keep, and uh, you're all together again. When I see them both, I do that, like, <sighs> sigh, like, I see them, just like, thank God. It's like, it's such a relieved, like, <laughs> and we're as all you do, there with our arms crossed, you, like, one foot. <laughs> <laughs> well, what did you find? Uh, well, she closes up at dusk, you know, as most business owners do, and then she went for a drink at the pub to talk about a business transaction. And I signed to Kess the name of the pub, the chubby dwarf, when he when Jack says that they went to a pub. Oh, the uh, stable guy told us about that. Uh, yes. If you... Hmm. Did you see when you say dusk, or... do you have a specific time in mind oh i don't know maybe just just over half an hour past five it's, it's i mean uh, we wouldn't have known we wouldn't have known the exact time when we saw the little gang huddle onto the roof no, but you but... Know well they would have noted uh, the time it, oh, true so... they did note down the time in the law so we would know so you would know uh what, what, does that add up yeah Seems so, that they uh, they apparated, as you put it, uh, on that roof, mm. uh, pretty much at the same time as uh, Vendetta closing up her shop and leaving for the pub. About that same time, Sai and I noted uh, a little huddle of um, stealthy hoodlums take post on a roof for about ten minutes, possibly keeping watch over the shop after she left. So, if we're to try and kidnap her between one place and the next. Someone's gonna have to deal with that. Well, was that, was that we could grab her in one of the alleyways. It just needs to be out of direct view, correct? I mean, the point is that she has yeah. Overwatch from I, the roofs. Yeah, I, I put my hand up in the talk. We're not kidnapping like, her. We're not kidnapping her. Well, there's no we kidnapping to happen. Said we're not kidnapping her. I'm saying we're not. So I'm also saying oh, we're you're not. not the whole group. I also well, vote for not kidnapping her. 
That's okay, two. but but I'll just 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 as far as plans go. That one is bad. It's. What are we going to achieve? Okay, just bear with me. If we're to try and deal with Vendessa, doing it outside of the walls of her very magically warded shop is probably our best bet, right? I. Whether it's to get information, whether it's to get keys, whether it's to anything. Even if we just want to get rid of her, we don't want to do it in the shop. Surely, I feel like we don't get. To yeah. I feel like we don't get to choose our battlegrounds here. We do. That's the thing. We're deputized. We can fucking have at her in the street as long as we've got the badges to make sure the guards are all right with it. Oh yeah, those are important, aren't they? The I'm not necessarily saying we kill her, but my point is that we don't we do. have to do this all behind closed doors, and especially not behind the closed doors of her home turf. I still oh, push her away. Everything hurts. The, the she's she's definitely you know I think she's I think she might be one step down from Lord whatever. Fuck, what was wrong said earlier? Fear Crocs. Fuck, what? I didn't know Shrek was here. She oh, made it no. sound... She made it sound okay. like she had direct communication with... with him, her, them. But... I... I, I don't like the idea of taking that fight surrounded by magic items that that Vendetta knows and fuck knows how many spells are on that place. The alternative is maybe now we know when she leaves that we try and get in when she's not there and try and avoid however many fucking alarm spells and <clears throat> scrying magic or whatever is on the shop while she's gone. But why? Okay, but what's it's the purpose of breaking in? We know. No, no, no. Okay, so hear me out. Mm. The reason we were originally talking about breaking in is to figure out if she was involved with the cult. We know that now. Right, but our, our entrance to the cult we know. But isn't our objective here to destroy it? Go down below the city yeah. and deal with that, not necessarily her. So, yes. so why do we are we assuming the entrance is in the magic shop? Then we don't. Know that, that was the lead. That was one of the leads. Was that? It's believed. I mean, was there anything? You're the only one who went in that back room, but was it there was anything a in there? Chest bolted down, but that could be fucking anything. Yes, it was. I, that... it, I guess it makes sense that you. I don't know. It's some sort of fucking spooky, I like mean... one of those theater plays where the bookcase slides out. But I mean, the the footsteps or footprints that we followed of her little uh, watch party began from the doors of the tenth circle so and we didn't see anyone in there when we went in there, there was no one else in that shop in fact she made a point to vacate the entire place so people are going, coming and going from there somehow that isn't through the front door surely I okay but I still think breaky into it's a bad idea the amount of I, I'm I'm sort of with you. I'm so, I, I know I'm it. I know it's out of my character to think that's a bad idea. I'll put it the this amount way. of magic on that place. Right? If we, if we do her in outside of it, then won't that magic just sort of fizzle away and not fucking kill us when we go in? Not necessarily. Well, I, I have no works. idea. I have no idea. I thought that would At be least your... she won't be able to trigger it. Worst comes to worst, we have her key or whatever it allows her to get in. I, I, no matter what, I don't think there's a good idea. That yeah. We're kidnapping her is the least of the bad ideas. I don't. I think, I don't think we kidnapping. Need to be I don't... very careful not leaving. <laughs> I think we, we've got time. Given our position I... with the guard, is there any way we could, uh, if we have. Do you think we have sufficient evidence to maybe coordinate something with the guard itself, rather than going at this that I like vigilante? Not, not well, we have nothing to prove that she have, no. stabbed him. 
He could no, in theory, but ask, we have we're we're on this at the behest of the guard. So mm. if we can say now, pretty much, I I think everything we have might come together in the favor of she at least needs to be apprehended. Maybe if she's not charged. So we grab her. No, but we can do it. that with the assistance of. Look, I. Well, we could just kill her. If you I trust mean, me, I, I promise you she is involved. We just kill her. We... Let's kill her. I said, I... But we need so the we information. Ambush her. We don't. We just... Mm. We don't. If we, we get her, if we kill... If dead. we kill... Yeah, if we kill her, we can ransack that place. Not, like, take everything, because God knows what magic is on those items. But at least get in there and... Yeah, some of it is definitely oh. not good. The yeah. Lazarin... You change your tune a little bit. Lazarin <laughs> advocating for death means that it's absolutely the correct right thing path. to do. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I don't want to do it. But any means, you know I'd that rather. The most sensible decision. I I I would rather do so many other things, but it's the decision that oh. it's the plan that I see will have the least amount of further casualties. We start trying to sneak about, we activate something, we alert someone. We have the drop on her. We, you know, don't give her a chance to do anything. Take her off the equation quickly. As much as I'd like to keep her alive and make her feel true justice of the legal system and, you know, be incarcerated and... I don't, I don't fear, feel there is much chance of that. She's a very powerful Wait, magic user. Did Jax... No, yes. Jax explained that they followed her to the pub and everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I cast exposition. <laughs> <laughs> so oh. the people that she was meeting with uh, said just she business had a associates. People? What do they look like? Something about potions, bulk order, you know, little snippets. Nothing sinister. I don't think she no. would talk about much in a pub. The I'm thing is, as well, she is also hope. running a business. It could have been genuine. I'm yeah, I, I, I don't doubt that. I was more thinking these three figures that appeared on the roof, maybe they were accompanying her and just keeping a watch. But So maybe we ambush them? That's where I was going. Be because if we, if we just try and ambush her, they're going to give us trouble. That's why they're there. It's a good idea. We wait at least a day. Brick seems to recover. He can't do anything. And I'd rather be us be at our, if not full strength, as close as we can get to it. I'm a little worried now that those people that were keeping watch might have spotted you following her. I don't know how. Well, did okay, they start um, to follow us? Before, before anything else. Impossible for me to say. Don't think they know firsthand what we look like. I think they've just had descriptions of us. On top of that... We, we've got two secret orders now trying to stab us in the back. On top of that, I... I'm 80% sure that I have managed to convince Vendetta that we are not in the city yet and are expected to be here within a week. So as long as we're sensible and go out disguised, we should have up to a week where they're not, you know, like, hunting us down in the city. I say for tonight at least, we do not leave this keep. I assume that Shine will have some sort of bedding here for us to use and if not Probably. also uh we can always uh, pinch your tent to the room i any anyone that does magic key disguises don't know if that's a good idea yeah, maybe i don't I know. know she uh, i don't know how powerful a magic user she is she might be able to see through shit like that i'm see. not certain that she saw through thorn but i'm also not certain that she didn't. Well, she didn't so, seem so, to say so, anything about me at the pub. She would have recognized me in disguise, so... That's then true. if she did recognize you in disguise, she wouldn't say anything. She would just go back to the court and be like, Oh, well, they're here now. 
Oh, she would have had some reaction. No. I don't think someone like that would react viscerally. Oh, well, it doesn't need to be visceral. Subtle reactions mean just as much. Are you good at reading subtle reactions? I am great at reading people. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know. I, I feel like when it's someone magically inclined, magic disguises might not be the best idea, but... I... I'm magically inclined, so is Lazarin, and we can't see through illusions. I mean, I can see a witch that is invisible. Is it worth so, me so, entering the so store would... at some point? So all it takes is for her to be as magically inclined as Lazarin, and she would have seen... Well, it, it, on, it, so... seeing through invisible things is different than illusions. Oh, no, but I mean, it's on the same level. It's the can, same point. It is like, not, though. It's it's much harder to see through an oh illusion. I think it's easier to see through oh. an illusion. Oh, I baby. I, I think it's quite easy to detect if something is an illusion. Magic theory showed up. You would say yeah. that. Is there or is there not somewhere in the in the world magic items that will allow you to see through illusions? Yes or no? I mean, yes, there is. I mean, quite easily. I would then imagine it's, there is. I mean, I can detect. I can detect illusions. I can detect illusions, and I can see if illusion magic is being in use. And if it's over somebody, I can probably guess they're there wearing illusions. There you go. Illusion. A last, a last room can do it, which means that yes, talking... but someone would notice if you're going to cast that or do it. You know. Now, if it's over you, if you currently have the effect on you, I can notice it. How paranoid yes, do you, have, you to have to be cast constantly spell. be casting? Detect oh, detects know. magic. Yes. There are items right, that do it Right constantly. hand lady of an, of an arsonist cult seems like they would be the reasonably paranoid knowing that there's a group of people coming to hunt not, them down. Not even confident. I... You could do it if you have, like, wonder worries. While they're saying that, I would sign to Kess. I mean, if she was that paranoid, she probably would have seen us following her. And I get the sense that she had no idea we were following her today. Us two. Me and Jess. Dagan says she doesn't think she's paranoid because she didn't manage to figure out that they were following her. At least not paranoid to that degree, or, since or, you know she literally or, has or a she's smart enough to notice all the shit and just not do anything about Brooks, it. In the when street. you when you talk to her about, did you mention? Uh, you said you sort of mentioned us as a group, but that you conveyed that we might be a ways away, at least on our way. Did she seem worried by that notion? Did she seem? confident that they're gonna succeed because they were pretty fucking ballsy to put that message up in the sky so they have some sort of confidence in themselves she's that's true not they worried seem... about us coming she's all. not worried then she probably so wouldn't give it she, if she noticed she would, that she, she noticed followed, stuff she, she wouldn't, wouldn't give a react. shit she wouldn't give a shit she would she would play it off and try yeah. and lull us into the a fact that she knows for the upper hand lull us it's into making a mistake possible that she saw through disguises yeah. you guys used to in the shop and just played along for the sake of it. I didn't use one, so... Yeah, we. I don't think Jax did either. He just mm -mm. put on some nice clothes. I oh, just well, made then, my clothes look nicer. It's and entirely she didn't possible. To... She looked at you three and went, oh, that's part of the group that are coming. And then just didn't say anything because they were so confident that they're sad in their fucking... Well, I mean, they stabbed you in the streets. So I wouldn't be surprised if we'd been stabbed as well if she'd noticed. Not necessarily. No, I, like did, I did have illusion magic on my clothes. Some people sounds, like playing the game. Sounds really counterintuitive, but I think if she knew that I was me and not disguised, I wouldn't have been stabbed. Hmm. I, I agree on that notion. I think but, that they, they, they enjoy the chase. Us, they want to play with us. If they wanted to kill us, they would have just had dead. people come and stab us outside that fucking... Church. Brooks was stabbed for being a liability or a loose end, not for yeah. being one of us. He was stabbed yes, for being one of them. If they wanted, Who's no, to say that they, they wouldn't just stab one of us? If they wanted to have, they'd have done it instead of putting a fucking message in the sky. They goaded us into coming because they knew we would take it up. This is a fucking game. Now this is If like... they wanted us dead, we would be right now. Now this is a... Uh... If we think they're quietly confident... Hear me out on this one. Instead of we attack her in the street, we, we just leave. We just no, no, go to the next town no, no, over and figure no, out something else. No, we still uh, take an ambush of her, but maybe we suggest a meeting and sort of say, we're here, you know. 
I hate that I idea. Send a fucking letter like, hey, be there or be join us. I know. It's I'm I think if we they're use the they're element confident. of surprise <laughs> and confident. we take out the three. Uh, if, oh, watch def- lookouts. Yeah, as, sure. as Jack says, surprise. I like point at Jack when he says the word, and then I point at Sai, and then I sign to Kess. If you want to talk about surprises, they might know about the six of us, but they don't know. Like, Sai is not in the party description they probably have. True. No, but Sai is investigating us. I don't fucking know this. Yeah. Is Kess saying Well, I think you can loud? infer if you think I pointed <laughs> at him after Jack said surprise. Um, surprise, Sai. Sai has been investigating this for a while, right? So. He might be on their radar of people. Of, if you've been a significant pain be. in their ass, they probably know who you are. I think we rest. And you're part of that bigger adventuring group or whatever. Yeah. I think. Yes, that is it. We rest for today. <laughs> then tomorrow, we wait to the sort of evening time again. Find if you two can find out when their next, uh, you know, routine of searches mm-hmm. is going on or their watch they're doing we ambush that to t- take the- take that out of the picture then we try and ambush her Kess mm. you can go invisible I can do you leave footprints when you're invisible yes unless I'm really careful and I can be really careful Sai do you think they were invisible hmm it's a possibility, but... They came out of nowhere. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. If we think they're invisible... Well, can they left the shop them. in the window that Jax and Diagon were watching the shop. Well, they didn't see... And Jax and Diagon didn't see them. I can... Well, they were, they were on rooftops we weren't looking for. No, they left footprints back to the shop along the street. Yeah, they went by the street. Oh. And they climbed onto the so, roof and appeared out of nowhere. If before we know roughly... Diagon. We were on the front side... If we That's know true. roughly when it's going to happen. Yeah, 530, it seemed like. Right. If we know roughly, I can pass the invisibility. It lasts an yeah. hour. I can post up and see and track them. If they are invisible, that is. I can have a little see. You can guys you cast the invisibility on someone else? Nope. <laughs> no, I can't, unfortunately. <laughs> it is uh, something that I can, you know draw from like how i can see if if i'm in the dark if you were aware that or could if you could see someone that was invisible and ex- describe that to me perhaps i would have an advantage trying to spot i mean i can i can cast another spell well, that, i can cast another spell and that renders their invisibility useless uh, but I, was they say, would not. I think i might be able to do the same one. they would they they in theory wouldn't know unless they looked at each other then they would See, see what I'm hope well, what I'm hoping is that if maybe I can spot where they're moving, I could hunters mark them, which they wouldn't know about and would make it a lot easier for me to follow. Have them. to f- actively see them to hunters mark, or do you have to know their location? As long as well, I think it's a, a, a creature you can see. Yeah, but you can attempt to perceive someone who is invisible, right? You yeah. have disadvantage because they're invisible, right? Yeah. So what I'm hoping is that if a Lazarin can see them and be like, they're moving right here, this is where they are, etc. I might have like a straight roll, and then if I can, if I do roll above their like stealth, Avian. then be able to cast Hunter's Mark on them. Um. I mean, maybe. Worst comes to I, 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 I could reveal anyone on that rooftop. So I well, they uncloak on the rooftop. Them. Why don't you just? Either wait for them to uncloak on the rooftop. I want more of an them. idea of where they're going, not necessarily needing to see them. Can't you know where they are when you? But oh, if them? you mean wait for them to uncloak on the rooftop to hunters mark them, I want to know from the from the shop, preferably. You that way, could... we know the exact route. I mean, you could, if you knew roughly where they come out of the shop, you could put something on the floor. Then you'd know when they walk on that specific space. Bit of dog shit. Oh, am, am I gonna want to be more stealthy tomorrow? Probably. Or do you want me to be bulky? <laughs> well, what are, your, what are your plans tomorrow? I don't know, that's why I was asking. Hmm. 
Because if we're going to try and ambush them, I should probably... Uh, we, we we shouldn't try and ambush them tomorrow. Brooks. <laughs> we need Brooks to get Brooks safe yeah, before we do anything. They're well, powerful we will... enough to do that we to will... Brooks. You know what will, what will they do to us if they're powerful enough to do that to Brooks? Who knows how much uh, yeah, I, I don't think this is something we can wait on. Don't get stopped. <laughs> oh. Wouldn't point. recommend it. Mm. Strange how oh. that happens. Gosh. Mm, indeed. I think... We wait until Brooks is feeling at least... Sort of better. Hmm. Because who knows how long it might take to recover from injury like that, but at least he can... Will someone go to the pub and buy some food and bring it back? No. Is there no, a kitchen they all have, here? No, they'll have food here. I just pull out like a pack of rations be like... I don't want fucking enough. rations. I think they might be getting in their barracks. I mean, is there not a canteen in the keep? No, no not one I'd be willing to find. I'm sure you can get some <laughs> slop for this, not a slop. Um, I'm so... Um... You intend on spending the nights here in the keep? If we can. Uh, if they just kind will of allow giving Brooke some time to recover. Yep. Anything in particular you guys want to do before I'm going to find... I'll go look find for a, a guard. and see if I can find some food that isn't rations for Brooks. Okay. I'm going to find a guard who looks like he's about to go out on patrol and I'm just going to give him a goal to go to the nearest pub and bring back a hot meal and a doggy bag. <laughs> Right. <laughs> Two different Fair people enough. just not talking about it going on. Separate. I'm going to yeah. tinker with my armor and turn my armor into the fucking whatever the other one's called. I forget. Get back, to me. Get back to me, remember. Um, okay. Empty boy. Uh, Daigon, you do find a, like, a, like a canteen slash uh, cafeteria type, type deal. Uh, it seems What's that the menu, menu today, today is some kind of bean stew. All right, I'll get one bowl for me I've been and chilly. one bowl for Brooks, and I'll bring it back upstairs. I, I'm switching to the hands. infiltrator model instead of the guardian model. There you go. Oh. Um, All right, Tony. Stop. Davian, the guard comes back about half an hour after you give him the gold, and he he went on and brings you <clears throat> like a little package, like like roast pork leg with some like vegetables. Hell, so, yeah. So the bean stew is your appetizer, and then you can have the pub food. I, I don't know, Davin might nice. have just got this for himself and fuck everyone else. <laughs> no, I'll come. Well, where, okay, where are the gang? Where are the gang posting up? Because we can't sit in the fucking infirmary all day. We're in the canteen. If it's like a cantini type area, we might yeah, there's... have to be in there for now. Yeah, right. and then... I'll come. I'll come through with this little parcel of food and chuck it on the table in front of Jax and Brooks. Sorry, not Jax. <clears throat> you know, in case you wanted a free course meal, I suppose. I mean, uh, yeah, I guess which one arrives first? Like, well, you get the canteen. Obviously, the canteen. Yeah, the, the, uh, the bean stew first because it's right there. I've already <laughs> eaten bean stew at this point, and I don't have the heart. I like, as I see, Avian come in with this like bag that, can like put the bowl under the table. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, dude. I'll just chuck the fucking parcel in front of you. Oh, I think, I think it's from a chubby dwarf. I don't know. Pork leg, he said. I will open the bag. Yeah, I guess I'll start eating just very slowly because I've had a shit ton of fucking beans. I'm going to get myself some beans to do. I'm going to beans to do. Oh, yeah. All right. Do they have drink? Do they have alcohol in the uh, alcohol canteen? No. I do. Yeah. Okay. I no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we have a walking bar cart. It's fine. I'm staying so low. Specifies that he wants alcohol. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. I, I, after right. after like going up and getting food and seeing that there's no alcohol, I'll sit back down and say, "Uh, yeah, Brooks, you haven't got like a little nightcap, have you?" And I'll just put like a metal cup. On the, I on the table. pull out a choice of brandy, whiskey, port, or rutka, which is like a root vegetable vodka. Port every time. <sighs> okay, I will hand him the bottle of port. Never stop. I will put the rest away. Yeah. Uh, a group of guards approaches you, and um, <laughs> uh, we've got told boy captain to uh, offer you some a place to stay for the night. Um, is uh, is a bar There's one section of the barracks that. Um, we don't really use because it's the keep's way too big to hold all of us. 
Uh, so you'll you'll have some somewhat some modicum of privacy in there. Perfect. Uh, it's just uh, if you leave the uh, leave this room, just just go down uh, second door to the left in the main like in the main entrance area. We'll we'll take you to a set of stairs that goes down. And, uh, you'll get there. And uh, just oh, pick geez. any uh, pick any room in bed you like. It's fine. Thank you. Much appreciated. Thank you. I'm not sure how long we'll need it, but um, be much safer here than outside. I think. Definitely. Yeah, what happened? Um, that's probably that's. I think that's why Captain decided to offer you housing in here for that. You know, I out there on the streets. That's that's their turf. But but in here, there's just no way. There's no way. Anything will happen. Do you to know? <laughs> Inside check him. I don't. <laughs> 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 there's no way. There's no way. As he just pulls out his dad. Eight. <laughs> as far as you can tell, he's uh, very convinced that nothing will happen inside the, <laughs> the walls of the keep. Any uh, <clears throat> any ta tattoos on his shoulder or anything? Make a perception <laughs> check. A natural twenty. No. Way. Oh my god. No. Okay. Damn. Um. I don't suppose you know anything about uh, these little rooftop liaisons from a few individuals from uh, the temp circle. Huh. <laughs> Good to know. Do you have any guards that keep watch over the rooftops? Uh, pff, yeah, but pff, I mean, not not particularly. Like, pff, if we spot something from street level, we'll go up there to check. But might be a good idea. All right. I mean, just in general, I mean, it's they're very easily traversable. Could have anything going on up there more than old Mrs. Mother's laundry. I'll pass it along. He's not gonna pass it along. <laughs> He's not gonna pass it along. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, well, <clears throat> thanks for the rooms. All righty. Uh, with that, um, shall we say, unless there's anything you want to do, you eventually retire to the barracks and get some rest. Uh, is there anything you guys want to do before? I'll just. I would just write a bit more in my journal before bed. Cats sure. would like awkwardly stand and put her vessel down on like a nice stand or something and then just very awkwardly disappear into the vessel <laughs> yeah, everyone, like i'm not used to doing this in front of people <laughs> i actually want to go up to the point um in the keep that i sort of took a view into the whole city mm -hmm. and i want to send onu out over the rooftop that we saw them sort of in, mm -hmm. etch into the the tablet I wish I could control him like a familiar, like see through his eyes, but I can't. So I'm gonna just tell him to basically go go out, and if there's anybody there, let me know. And if there isn't anybody there, to land nearby, see if it's the same tablet still, or if they've changed it, and then come back and let me know. All right, make a perception check with Onu. Four. <laughs> um. Okay. He doesn't see anyone there. Okay. Does he check the tablet? I mean, yeah, you told him to, so he, I guess he does. Uh, the tablet seems to be the same one, still. So. Okay. I'll just, you know, I'll figure this out through a yeah. series of... Actually, I, 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 it's late at night. I could just use my daily speak with animals and okay. yeah. suss some stuff out, see how he's doing. Sure. Alrighty. Anything else anyone wants to do before bedtime? I mean, I'm gonna try and stay up like as late as I can before I like falling asleep just out of like nervousness, like almost keeping watch, but like just not. Yeah, I would I'd honestly probably stay up there on the roof for well, like, in the tower or whatever for a while tower. as well, keep an eye on the rooftops like, until it was like the latest point that I could possibly yeah, get along with. But it's, the, it's okay. that like slowly yeah. just kind of drowsing off, but like I'm trying to keep myself awake for as long as I can before I. Alrighty, yeah, that's fair. Um, we'll do that, and as your characters rest up, uh, we're gonna go take our break as well, I think, and uh, we'll be back in a couple of minutes to continue. Okie dokie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. BRB fellas and lady fellas, and anything in between. <laughs> oh, I hate Hello. you so much. Oh, bitch. <laughs> you oh. idiot. <laughs> Steady. <laughs> no, we're sure it's fine. 
Oh, that's fine. No, 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 it's fine. No, you're right, you're right. right. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hey, everybody. Welcome back. So, you guys have rested. Brooks, uh, you get rid of one of your points of exhaustion, so you only have one left. Yay. Hey, it's fine, guys. You awaken in the barracks the next day, feeling, uh, you know, as rested as you can be. Today is yours. What do you guys want to do? I pray to change my spell list. Damp. Oh, no, no. Joaquin, please change my spells. These ones are poopy. <laughs> I would like better ones today. I would like helpful ones, please. Smile! And then, cool. Okay. I don't think yeah, I no, have any fine. other helpful ones I could use, honestly. <clears throat> Fuck, now you got me looking, though. <laughs> I feel like up. like a Lazarin's like, morning prayers to change his spell list. It's like the fucking TikTok meme of like, I get these spells that no, I want. Yeah. You get these spells that I don't want. <laughs> <laughs> Trade offer. <laughs> mm. Okay. So, uh, what do you guys do once you're, uh, you know, you're done with your, your morning rituals, you've uh, swapped out spells if need be. I get breakfast bean soup. <laughs> bean <laughs> soup? <laughs> For breakfast? <laughs> Probably, probably so gross. Probably <laughs> yeah, there is there is a breakfast in the in like the the canteen, and it's. I get uh, oatmeal. It's like a porridge, <laughs> like a, like kind of kind of vibe. It's very easy. There's some 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 slop that is slightly sweetened. Slop, slightly sweetened slop. Yeah, say that ten times fast. Slightly sweetened slop, slightly sweetened slop, oh. slightly sweetened slop, 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 slightly sweetened slop. Nine or eight? Was that ten? I don't know. No. Yeah, slightly sweetened um, slop. Slightly you sweetened fucked up slop. one of them. <laughs> no, I did not. You have to start yeah, from the, the start again. Yep. The middle one. The middle one. <laughs> <laughs> right. So. The sixth one. Two from the bottom. What if we want slightly right. salty slop? That's oh. unfortunate. That's, that's, that's tomorrow. That's All right, so. Slightly savory uh, slop. What's the plan for the day? Kick back, relax. Okay, fine, I'll. Because I, I do have a project I could go work on. I mean, I think this is a good time anyway. We'd use this day for preparations. I. All right. I will see you guys back here at. Um... Body system. Wait, wait, where are you going? Yes, are you staying with me? I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to go to a smithy. I'm not going on your own. Pick someone to go with you who isn't doing anything. Anyone but Brooks. <laughs> but he. <laughs> okay. I'm okay. Why? <laughs> but you're all staying about. Uh, yeah, you, you need to stay here. I'll, 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 I'll put my hand like up that. to go. Now, who will catch you when you. Fantastic. Heal over. Dagen will come with me. Okay. We go to a smithy. Do we want to go look at the. You working on something again? That you've shown me plans for? Is it something new? It's a new concept, not quite realized yet. If you figure out something you can do with arrows, I'd be keenly interested. I will get this see thing what I can do. And you shoot them. Oh. You may have to feather them yourselves, because I don't know how to do that. Fletch but... is the term, but yeah. Very well. Fletch oh. them yourself. <laughs> oh, Jack, Jack, I mean, if you... Years. If you want to do the, if you want, I don't know, some metal or something to melt down or sell on, you can use this. And I just grab a fucking, the, the mace I've had strapped to my back and be like, I don't use it anymore. So, Very well. If you have this mace, I think I'll stick with daggers for now. I'll add a fucking mace to my bag of holding. Yeah, sure. Okay. No. I'm fucking and the it. collection have grows. It. I have a really long stick, but it's in my bag. In my vessel. Just the oh. one you found, just a stick on the floor. <laughs> a dog. I was never very good with it. Much better with knives. Yeah, same here. Oh, yeah. Dude. Well. Uh, Alright, uh, what time do we want to meet back here? I don't know. Where I do mean, you it? probably sooner rather than later, just. I, I feel like we day. don't want to spend too uh, too long out on the streets. 
Well, I could spend as little or as long as we need. Just spend how much time you think would do you well. All right, I'll, uh, well, if they're, they're going to be on that rooftop at 5.30, uh, maybe I'll go till 4.30. Are we out tonight? <laughs> uh, I thought that was the plan. We just want. Uh, Are you okay? Did idea you like of... choke a little bit? Your voice I did. sounded <laughs> very high. <laughs> I like choke my water, like jing him out, like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Man, you, you might have some of that. You know. Porridge <clears throat> stuck in the back of your throat. Yeah, just. Ugh. You need someone to hit you on the back. No, oh, God it's no. It's very, it's very claggy. Yeah, it's just mm. like, like just drinks water more chunk. <laughs> Are we doing that tonight? I, I mean, we, we were, I, I, I want to go up and get a better idea where they go. Okay, so oh yeah, if probably. We see the opportunity, okay. sure, but otherwise, just reconnaissance. Right. Exactly. Actually, hmm. Mm. Is that something we all want to do, or is that something we just like? Well, I am extra stealthy now. Well, Sai and I can always go check it out. I mean, do you want me there as well, so I can see invisibility? I definitely thought you said cyanide for a minute instead of mm -hmm. cyan and I. And I was like, who the fuck is that? Well, <laughs> we're gonna kill them. Knowing, knowing that they will come out of their invisibility on the rooftop, it might not be necessary, but... Okay. Uh, I'm, I, I'm more thinking if I might be able to see the rooftop from the keep. Even... even slightly. Just a spot. That's a I mean, they had, far. They had long... It's it is point. far, but I mean... Seeing someone appear out of nowhere and disappear again, even from a long way away, you'd be able to get some glimpse as long as I had an idea of what rooftop it was. I won't be able to learn anything too specific, but the idea being that the logs recorded were every 90 minutes, so they do this throughout the day. One of us could do it at the keep and you could be closer. That works too. Well, I was going to say during the day, if one of you wanted to watch from the keep to see if you could see it, yeah. maybe you get a spyglass from someone. Oh. Ooh, that sounds like something fun to have. That does sound like something fun to have. <laughs> yes, I would I mean, offer mine, but I lost mine in the sea about seven years back. Oh, yeah. You would have one of those, wouldn't you? Well, not anymore, but back then. Well, yes. That makes sense. You need to be able to spot things from the ship. Like pretty birds. <laughs> <laughs> there aren't any birds out at sea. <laughs> <laughs> there aren't any birds out at sea. Like there's a whole, there's a whole genus of birds called I've gulls. I've never been out to that, sea, so I wouldn't know. Well, I have. Gulls are different. They're, they're not, not really birds. They're pests. What do you mean they're really birds? They're birds. They're what the fuck are you talking about, Jack? They're like the, the rats of the air. Yeah. Right, albatross but, is a but, gull. But but also rats are still animals. They're still like you know rodents. They're not like their own well, thing. Gulls pigeons are still, still birds. Gulls are still birds. I'm going to the forge. What about God, storks? Stork, 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 herons? Uh, yeah, there's a lot of... There's a lot of sea birds. 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 Jax please, just moves Please, no more birds. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go out shopping and see if I can find a spyglass or something. <laughs> I will go with Kess because she's not fucking going by herself. <laughs> okay. Yes, buddy system, Kess. Not going out... If I can, I also That's why I announced it and didn't just disappear. Yeah. I You're almost wanted... <laughs> Okay. So we got Kess... a magic shop for what? We got we got <laughs> Kess and Elazarin going to find a spyglass. We've got uh Jax and Dagon going to a Smithy of some uh, description. What is the rest doing? Um I'll Are just gonna look at Dev. Yeah, go on. I mean... Brooks is gonna Netflix and chill all day. <laughs> go lie in bed. <laughs> does my uh, does my iPad require attunement? It does. <laughs> Shit. And charging. You know, I gotta set up an account. Oh, and see if I got a password. And all that stuff. Uh, that's fair, actually. That's about that's the attunement process. Is making that's a Netflix account. That's the attunement account. process. Pretty much. I don't suppose Sai, you have like a pack of cards or something. Wait until Kess comes back with the spyglass. I have a pack of cards. I thought you. I thought you two were gonna do something. I'm not with it. This. I'm tired. Uh, mm -hmm. I have a pack of cards. 
We can play cards. We can play cards. Okay. Do you, are we are time. we are we playing cards or am I taking your money? <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to see you try. Okay. I will pull out one of my playing card sets. Okay. I will pull out a specific oh playing card set. Oh god. Oh here it is. Yeah. Yeah, uh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll play cards with them. Okay. Fair enough. Um while you do that, we'll quickly uh, go over the other stuff first. Um, Kess and Elazrin. Yes. You make your way to, uh, you know, the, the area of town where you saw shops. Um, I mean, are you, just, are you just going to, like, window shop until you find a shop that you're like, oh, that's probably... Ooh. We. Yes. Before I leave the keep, I'm gonna disguise self to look just like an elven version of myself. I don't do anything. I just gonna fuck it. I will hide my like necklace and kind of like make myself like a little bit more. Okay. Um, like less grand. Um, for the man uh, that is more sought after than anyone else in this party, I feel like you should be putting in a little bit more effort. <laughs> I should have done, but Legend doesn't care. Um. <laughs> Um, he's very blasé about the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. It's like, it's gonna get me or it's not. <laughs> um, how close to like the most shop do we get when we're just like window shopping? Like, is it something we have to pass? It's all like in the same area. Is it something that we have to pass to like get through? Like, is it kind of like in a, like a hub area, or is it kind of off the? It is kind of in like, like a hub, like trade, like, okay. square. Yeah. Okay, like as we like pass occasion, I'll just keep a lookout and kind of look up at the rooftops occasionally. Okay. Just like, like a teenager. I'll also be keeping an eye on the rooftops around us. Uh, make a perception check for me. Ooh, I'm so good at those. Fuck yeah. Natural one. Nice. Um, oh, bird! I've not seen that one before. <laughs> I got uh, that is it a goal? 14 because I rolled badly. 14? Yeah. Okay. yeah. That's good to know. Um... Eventually, you make your way and you see a shop that is just uh, has like a sign hanging above the front door, uh, Pox General Supplies. And you can see like through the window that there's uh, some adventuring gear uh, displayed. So you reckon that's probably a good place to check for a, a looking glass of some sort. Yeah, go, go in there. All right. Uh, as you enter, you can see that there is a yellow skinned goblin behind the counter yellow skin al almost matching his like jagged yellow teeth and nice. uh, <clears throat> he, he notices you come in and kind of hops from behind the counter good afternoon good afternoon what can i do for you today huh um we're looking for a spy glass spy glass huh you know you're looking to spy on some people or uh any, anything juicy anything anything i should know about that we like birds <laughs> Yes, I like bird watching. Oh, it's disappointing. Sorry but, um, to disappoint. That's fine. I can, I can, I definitely have uh, looking glasses, spy glasses, and the sorts available for you. Sounds okay, excellent. Yeah. So. Just, uh, just, just the one. Oh, I'll, I'll, we'll have two. Two. Hmm. All right. I have two. That will be. Uh, they're five silver each, so that'll be one gold. Uh, we will hand over gold. I thought that noise it was like you were going, like balking at the price. And I was like, yeah, it's one gold, chill. Uh, I also want to look around and see if I can find anything interesting. Make an like... investigation check. Okay. I think it seemed like, like I have money. Oh, uh, hell yeah. This time I rolled much better and I rolled a 16. 16? This seems to be a shop that, that, that sells just your general goods and wares, but also um, traveling supplies, so like different types of. You know, traps for, for animals, different types of um, kind of like kits that come with a bunch of adventuring gear uh, in it. Um, this is the shop that sells all those explorers packs, dungeoneers packs. Pretty much, shit yeah. In pretty the much. handbook that you get when you make it. Yeah, your pretty much. Mm -hmm. um, nothing super exciting. Okay. So uh, the goblin hands each of you a spyglass. Anything else I can do for you? 
No, that was it. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, that is all, then uh, have a good day and uh, do come back. Thank you. You just okay. stop and leave? Yeah, on the way back, I'm going to see if I can, like, see anything. Particularly eye-catching, like, in the windows as we pass. Just, um... just peep it in people's windows. <laughs> out in the open. <laughs> uh, pfft, not really. This, like I, like, like, like I said it before, this town is very much a, um, like a, like a, like an industrial town. Uh, most of the goods that they make here or refine here get sent away. Uh, so the town itself, there's very little. Like, th I mean, there would be a lot to look at in the tenth circle, but you know, given the <laughs> yep. circumstances, I doubt you'd decide to. No. <laughs> I so want to. I so badly want it, but I'm not gonna. Oh! Only I weren't wearing the same clothes. Yeah, like mm -hmm. a like a was like as we're walking to care, like says to care, just like I want to look in that tenth circle so bad, but I know we can't. You know, with everything in mind, it is a strange place for a magic shop like the tenth circle. Mm. Sure. Uh, I'm I it's a weird place for a magic shop like that. You know, <laughs> a big industrial town. Mm hmm. Um. I'm going to sit on a bench nearby. Um, okay. And wait just like a... Not too long. And then I will cast See Invisibility. Okay. And just sit on this bench looking at like the magic shop and like looking around the sort of area at the rooftops. How long do you sit there? I mean, an hour until See Invisibility foot wears off. Okay. While he's doing that, I'll go off and find somewhere to get like a pastry or something and then come sit back down beside him and eat. <laughs> Sure, no. sure, absolutely. Um, if you're going to sit there an hour, yeah, you do see that um, <clears throat> as Vendetta opens the door to her shop and seemingly kind of talking to some customers and guiding them outside, you can see that behind them, she leaves the door open and three individuals scurry out of the front door. What do they look like? Uh, they seem to be wearing... It's like, like like black leather cloaks with the hood up. Uh, it's very hard to tell. Ooh, sketchy. Here we go. Um, I'll just kind of like as much as I can just follow them with my mm -hmm. eyes until I see You see them go around the corner back. and eventually uh, you see them climb up to the roof uh, that uh, Davian has described to you. Which way did they go up for that? They spend like 10 minutes there and then they hop off mm -hmm. and they dive into an alleyway and they leave your field of view. Do I see them within that hour? Do I see them come back at all? No. Okay. I'll just kind of, you know, chat idly to Kess as I see them. I'll wait for them to pass, you know, wait till I stop seeing them. And I'll just say to Kess, well, they're definitely invisible. Three of them. They left when she opened the door minutes ago. They left. They went up to that rooftop, as Davian said. Didn't seem to come back there. At least not in the hour that I know. I can see them. What time is it around now? Still pretty much like like 10-ish. Morning. Yeah. Okay. So, so do it do doesn't day? look like they only come out when she closes the shop. Yeah. It looks like it is. Stuff. Well, we knew they were coming out regularly anyways, but mm -hmm. it seems it is very regular. Be interested to see where they go back, or if they do go back. Is it the same three? Is there another entrance? To where they are? You'd assume so. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe there's another entrance into the hideout somewhere across town, hmm. and that this is just one way hmm. they can get out. Yes. Like or a loop. To get in. Yes. Hmm. Well, it's good to know. I'll, um... I'll just wait here a little bit longer, I suppose we can go back in a second. This is really shopping. tasty. Oh, what did you get? I don't know, it's some kind of like roll thing. Did you pick me up anything? I did not, do you want me to go get you one? No, it's okay. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I did, and then I ate it. Because it was really good. Was it, say, was it good? 
It was really good. Then that's just fine. If you ate it just because you were hungry and I would have been upset, but it was because you couldn't have, couldn't resist another pastry, then that's fine. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I will like to also just at one point, as we like walk it, as we like walk back to the keep, just kind of randomly pull the spike glasses, just look and be like, oh, good these things are. Just kind of <laughs> start with pretty good. Um, Fuck it, Jesus. They're, they're pretty fucking I can see so far. I can only see very far, but fucking hell. <clears throat> All right. Uh, meanwhile, <laughs> Dagon and Jax, you are headed towards um, towards a forge. Yeah, that would take you more to the industrial side of town. Okay. Uh, and you eventually get to a large structure that has a sign out front, just called the Dwarven Forge. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> um, <laughs> I'll I'll knock on the door. And... Do they specialize in small, or is it like just like an open? Pieces? Come on inside. Uh, kind of, because it's it's uh, it's it's very large. You can see people going in and out constantly. You can hear the just deafening sound of like just clanging hammers on anvils, and um, yeah, people kind of just go in and out. Jack's almost tears up. So beautiful. Um, <laughs> I'll just walk on in and look for whoever's in charge, I suppose. All right. Um, as you go in, you can see this kind of stout dwarven man, soot-covered face, black hair and braids and a twin-braided beard, kind of just barking orders at people uh, as he kind of like wipes the sweat of his brow and himself also uh, clamoring, uh, seemingly forging some kind of sword uh, on top of an anvil. Uh, excuse me, good sir. I'll be with you in a minute. And then he just clang, 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 and then, you know, puts the puts the hot, like, piece of metal in, in one of those fucking tubs. And he... But hey, what's, uh, what can I do for you? It require one of the use of one of your forges for the day. You want to use my forge? Uh, yes, please. What for? Well, I have some metal to melt down and then restructure. So, you're stepping in my place of business to do the thing that we spo were supposed to do? Yes. <coughs> Uh, I figured it would be like a more of like a I, I rent it out for the you know a little bit and rent out my forge. Make a persuasion check. <laughs> Natural twenty. Oh. All right. How long do you think you need? Uh, just at least to the end of the day and see where I get. I may need tomorrow as well, but I, I, I don't want to, you know. All right. Five gold per hour. Uh, all right. What time is it now? Looking at the map? Like, like 10 in the morning. That's 30 gold. I need to pay over then. All right. So I'll hand him a 30 gold then for the next six hours. All right. You can, you can use that one over there and you kind of points towards like the back of the room. If you break anything. I will pay for it myself, I promise. Good. All right. And I'll head on over. Um, I'll start to melt the Gorgon horn that I have. Okay. And begin melting that down. And while that is melting, I'll start making a cast. Okay. Um, for brass knuckles. Okay. One for each hand. Could you, um... Oh, uh, before, before, before Jax gets started, I'll mm -hmm. just, again, by writing on a page in my journal, that if you need me to hold anything still, or if you need a set of hands, just let me know. Obviously, I can't do anything fancy, but... Uh, that would be wonderful. I will absolutely let you know. Oh, and I said, and I can, I can actually give you six hands if you need it. That's impressive. <laughs> Um, 
Are you at all... You're proficient with blacksmithing... The smithing tools, yes. Yeah, just make me a check with your smithing tools. I'd say for the purpose of this, because you're kind of, you know, you're, you're doing something... Uh, like you're melting something down, you're making a cast. Um, I would say for this. Uh, can I can I chime in? Strength. What? Okay. Oh, yeah, I was just gonna give a recommendation, but I'd say for this, just a strength check with proficiency as well. All right, so that's a plus zero for strength. Uh, mm -hmm. But it's okay. Uh, that's 15 plus 2, so 17 total. Okay. Yeah, uh, it takes you a few hours, but um, the, the the horn of the Gorgon that you uh, cut off is uh, in the process of melting down. The cast for the brass knuckles yep, seems all right. All right. And then once it's melted, I'll pour them in and then cool them off. And let them okay. set. And then I suppose if it hits four o'clock, I don't know if it's finished by then or not. Mm, yeah, we'll say that. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. Fuck it. Gracious DM, thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> um, all right. And then I guess as I finish, I'll get up to uh, leave. And say uh, thank you so much, sir. It was wonderful of you to let me use your forge. Sorry, it's a peculiar request. We don't typically uh, do that here, but uh, something to consider, I guess. Yeah, I just, you know, I used to do blacksmithing myself and um, I was What's working with a different type of metals today. I was making some special uh, brass knuckles. Well, they're not brass, but... All right, a little, little knuckle duster, kind of? Yes, uh, made from a gorgon's horn. Is it? Who, who pissed you off to the point where you figured you need to make gorgon horn brass knuckles? Oh, you know, little miscreants running around. Children? They're not actual children. I would never hurt a child. They just act childish. Right. Well, okay, now I feel like he's talking about us, and I'm a little worried. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, fair enough. Uh, good luck. Have fun, I suppose. All right, and I guess we'll head back. GLHF. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, that pretty much takes up your, your day until yeah, the end of the afternoon. Uh, and, like, assuming Diagon just kind of sits there and helps you uh, where, where yep. needed. I would have been just watching fascinated just because, like, any hands like hands-on skill I find very intriguing and have a habit of just trying to learn or pick up over time anyway. So I was just okay. watching the whole time. All right, cool. Um, all right. Brooks, Sai, and Davian. You guys playing cards in the in the keep? Yeah. Nope. Indeed. At least until uh, Kess and Elasrin return and then they can go up Mm -hmm. and use the spyglass, and I think Sai and I will uh, go on reconnaissance. Go exploring. Okay, are you mm. playing, like, like are you playing, are you gambling, or? Yeah. Your rollies? Yeah, sure. We're gambling. Okay. Oh, no. I don't have much money, but <laughs> sure. Oh, we'll just use silver. So what do you guys, you know, uh, what kind of game are you playing? I'm assuming Brooks takes the lead here because he knows exactly <laughs> what the fuck he's doing. Yeah, I guess we'll uh, play Blackjack. Yeah, sure. Uh, you know how Blackjack works, Si? Hmm. I've seen it played before. <laughs> I don't really want to take much, if any, of Si's money. <laughs> I want to... Just... All of Davian's. <laughs> da da Davian. Yeah, basically. <laughs> I have yeah. I have five silver. I'm not. As soon as I've lost five silver, I'm just, I'm gonna call it. I'm only going in like one silver at a time. I'm gonna take his five silver. <laughs> okay. Gonna play with my uh, my marked cards. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
And I'm just gonna... Whenever I know he has a better hand than me, because the cards are marked, I'm not gonna... And I'm just gonna keep playing that way until size about even and I've got all of Davian's money. <laughs> Yeah, I'll say for the purpose of this, because you have a set of cards that is like, you, you know, you know exactly which card is which, uh, unless Davian has a very keen eye and notices this. I mean, if I've not won a single hand, I'm going to be suspicious. So yeah, I want to... No, because there'll be hands you win. Like, I'm not... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. now he's backpedaling. Hold no, on. No, I never... I never <laughs> said, he's backpedaling. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, he's not. Duke, shut up. He's not. He said he, if he knew you had better, better cards, he would not, like... I'm not, so I'm not sleight of handing, I'm not manipulating the cards to always be better than you. I just okay, know but what you, you have, and then won't. So I won't win a single great hand. Tell. No, no you will. Because if I know that you've got a good hand, I'm just going to be like, okay, I'm not going to put more money on this. I forget how blackjack works, but you would be a dealer, right? So... When you're playing, Either, with, e e well, if, if you're playing, playing with three of us, we would have to rotate, right? Yes. That's how it works. Yeah. 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 So I'm not manipulating the cards. I'm just over knows, time. He just knows what everyone's got. Have. Yeah. Right. It's like card counting, essentially. So then, between effectively That's between easy. Sai and I, I could still make money depending. Yeah. But also, but... would my passive insight maybe catch it? What's your passive insight? Fourteen. My passive perception is fifteen. My insights? My insights trash. My insights 13. <laughs> For the sake of this, Brooks, um, make a deception check. Deception? Yeah. Uh, I have a disadvantage on that because I'm exhausted. Oh, you do? Nice. <laughs> okay. I mean, it's not terrible rolls. <laughs> That's the great. It was nearly a nat 20. Uh, do, 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 do. So it's a total of eighteen. Ah, yeah. Nah, you don't, you don't pick up any, uh, anything sus. I'm just happy I'm breaking even. But yeah, the, mm -hmm. I, I was just gonna say the Greg's motto is it's not terrible rolls. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hate you so much. Yeah. <clears throat> it will do. It's not terrible rolls. It will do. <clears throat> All right. So eventually, um, Kess and Elazarin walk in. With two uh, spy glasses. Oh, two spy glasses. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. Uh, up five uh, silver from down. No, well, I bought one. Binoculars. <laughs> Makes binoculars. <laughs> Just strap them together. <laughs> Makes one like Jane really out long. One stuff. like. <laughs> <laughs> well, I uh, investigated the uh, shop a little bit. They are. Invisible. When they leave the shop. Mm. Uh, Vendetta. That makes things a little more interesting. Vendetta leaves the door open for a little bit. Three people walk out. They go up to that one there. And I don't see from there. From my position, I didn't see where they go afterwards. But I saw the path they take. How long does your ability to see invisibility last? It's one hour. And how far again? does it reach? I mean, as far as my sight. So if you were to use a spyglass from the keep, you I could might see be able to That's cool. watch them. Whose fucking stomach was that? <laughs> <laughs> it was Bell's, dude, I'm telling you. <laughs> Listen, okay. <laughs> I already she have. Ate. She ate at the beginning of D&D. &D. That's the food. It. Go on, ulu gulu gulu gulu. <laughs> <laughs> the food talking. I Bell's done. stomach is proficient in deep speech. Yeah, <laughs> it's a Bissler thing, actually. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know, but in theory, yes, it's wherever I can see, I can, you know, if my side can see into it, it might be hard. I don't know how we, don't know how Spyglass would work with that, because. Yeah. Well, if you can see it's invisibility, magnified. I don't see why it wouldn't work, but it might be worth. It'll try. It might be worth checking out. Given mm. what you've told me, I can always try and make out somebody to cast Hunter's Mark on, but if if it does work with the Spyglass, I mean, you will have to recast Detect Invisibility because it'll be in roughly, well, 90 minutes from when you saw them leave and it will have run out by then, but yeah. well, if you think well, it's worth it, it might be worth just 
keep an eye on the display whilst to see where they go. Unfortunately, I um, can use it twice a day and I've used it once. Right. Well. So I've got one use. One more use, that's fine. I, I I mean, I can't imagine it takes them more than an hour to make the lap. They stayed at the... They, they stayed on that one roof for 10 minutes. Hmm. And uh, it gives us a better idea either way. I mm. could... If you say they become visible for a little bit, I could wait till then to cast it. Get the yes. most out of it. Get the most time out of it. How would I... Okay. Could... I mean, I'd be able to look. I'll just keep an eye on it. Just by glass... You show me from the rooftop which rooftop it is. I'll just yeah. be locked in there with Kess. So we've got multiple eyes on there. Just in case I miss it. So one of us will should be able to see exactly where they are. Then I will cast I will cast the invisibility as I think around, you know, eight minutes or nine minutes, so just before they disappear. Try and follow them. And you guys will do whatever you guys are doing. But um Devian. Mm. You said you can track them with this hunter's mark or something. Yeah. Uh, they shouldn't know it was cast on them at all, and it just makes it a lot easier for me to keep eyes on them. And how long invisible. does that last? Uh, an hour. Okay. Because um, when they appear on the roof, maybe just, you know, you do it then, mm. and then we follow them yes. to wherever they go. We don't really need to see if the invisibility, invisibility or anything. But isn't I mean, the it's built on like, braces this way. Doesn't the circuit take like 90 minutes, you said? No, no, they just no, do it every 90 minutes. Yeah, the circuit could be 10 minutes, 15 yeah. minutes. I think mm. I think it's worth us having multiple looks. You guys yeah. tracking your way. Because mm. you can track... That way if we lose up, sight but, or I yeah. you know, fail to cast on them or something like that, yeah. we have a yeah, backup have. and vice yeah. versa. I like always it. have something. That sounds good. Elijah, can you... Send messages or anything magically? Uh, no. Kess? No. I can send Thorn after you. Can you communicate with Thorn? I mean, I can tell him from where I am and then send him. I'm but just that's thinking. That's the best I can do. Where, from where you guys are, you'll have a better perspective. <clears throat> if they catch on to us or we end up being followed ourselves, you might be able to give us a warning. The only warning I could give. They would also see. Hmm. Yeah. Same. Because Bond might work. Be... Though. I don't know how long it might take him. Um. Yes. I mean. Of course, I can also. I I can always have Onu, but he, if he's flying, you know, in circles, it might make it a bit obvious. Just be a bird. The thing you don't see many Onus around. Is the thing they, they're not, and certainly not hovering around above a city. Sure. And I'm not about to make him a pigeon or anything. Mm. Don't blame you. Oh, I think this will work for now. Okay. We'll go from there. I think we just have to deal with the fact we have no communication. I, we're not playing any attacks, anyways. We don't Wait, Bell, what's Thorn's flying speed? Forty feet. Okay. I'll the leave. I'll leave Onu okay. up. Up with you, and if you see anything, you can send Onu down. Because he flies at sixty feet, and uh, <clears throat> if, I mean, they're, if they're if they're on to us, it's apply? bug out time. So, mm -hmm. does dash still apply to thorns? Yeah, so yeah, that would be but, eighty feet. Yeah, but then Onu is one hundred and twenty. True. Yeah, I'll just send Onu with thorn on his back. And then Thorn can speak and also go at the same speed. <laughs> and shoot arrows that knock people out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Thorn, <laughs> Thorn looks at... Uh, at Why the Valkyrie starts playing? You're not going to eat me? <sighs> that wouldn't be the first time. I remember we did the little circus trick. You like that. He looked at me funny, though. But he didn't eat you. Not I don't even time. think if I told him to eat you, he'd eat you, to be honest. Oh, no. That's not fine, though. <laughs> <laughs> I just like to imagine I was doing that like glare straight at Thorn, you know, like they have like they're, not they're really <laughs> evil, like sinister, it's, like um, yeah, yeah, it's, it's a with the uh... <laughs> <laughs> he's he's harmless, well, and less I need him to not be harmless. <laughs> he's harmless, just he's the punch wounds of the other person, he like <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> <Just> like... <laughs> okay, all right, so 
you guys will be the eyes in the sky. Sayonara will be the boots on the ground. And uh, <clears throat> we'll get to the bottom of this little uh, patrol circuit they're doing there. Yes. Just show us where it was on the rooftop and we'll look at yes. it. Yes. All right. I'll go up with them yeah. to the to the yeah. top of the keep and point okay. out the roof roof that we saw them on and like the route that we will be taking. Good morning, dude. Um, yeah, you mm -hmm. can do that easily enough. Uh, you kind of have a look, see with the spyglass and uh, spot the roof. You recognize it and uh, point it out to them. Zero it in and everything. Make sure everything's in focus. Mm. Good. Um, okay, so we've got one more use of detecting visibility that lasts an hour, and we've got one use of Hunter's Mark that lasts an hour. As soon as we see them on the roof, I'll cast Hunter's Mark. You can cast detecting visibility, and uh, we'll uh, try and track them all the way around. Yes. All right, we'll make for the rooftops. All right. Okay. Rooftop party. So with that, uh, everyone is in position. Uh, where are you positioning yourselves, uh, Davian and Sai? I guess the same roof that we first saw them yeah, appear on. Yeah, the same one that seemed to have worked out, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Um, little time passes, but eventually, uh, suddenly, this group of three... Hooded individuals appears on that roof. And as quietly as possible. I hunt as mark one of them. Okay. See invisibility and see if it like works with the spyglass. Uh yeah, it does. Oh, thank fuck. <laughs> spyglass as well. There's nothing in the spell description that says that that shouldn't work, yeah. so. <laughs> thank you. Um yeah. And they sit there uh for about ten minutes. And they Well yeah, wait for the ten minutes. They uh, you know. Go, go invisible again, but you still see them, uh, Lazarin. And they right. do a lap of about a few blocks around the store. Uh, and about 20 minutes uh, go by uh, of you, like, following them. They go to the backside of the shop. And you just suddenly stop seeing them. Is it as a as a heads up because it gives me advantage on mm -hmm. perception on survival checks that I make to find them. Yeah. So I rolled a twenty two for survival to track them so that we can keep sort of keep on their trail. Just are you trying to? Like, are you pursuing? Like, are you? Yeah, I um, hunt his marks and then yeah, we're gonna okay. just kind of uh, yeah, try I mean, and follow. It takes you to the back side of the tenth circle eventually, and uh, okay. That's when I where they just stop see them spirit. disappear. Mm -hmm. Does it look like they reached up and touched anything on the doors? Or like they didn't like did anything to disappear? Or did it just Actually, like they... uh, mm, make a perception check. Oh fuck! I don't know, like, uh, fire on it. I don't know why, but can I have? <laughs> no. I mean, uh, uh, Kess is up there with you, like you know. You're no, both but Kess, I assume they're invisible, so Kess can't fucking see him. So I'm just like they're there, and Kess like. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I see him. Is there a pigeon? Like, yes. Yes, I see him. <laughs> you're like, <laughs> you're, you're, you're like pulling out the movements, like, ah, oh, yes, it's going over that rooftop. And Cass is like, yeah. <laughs> Go to that rooftop, yeah. but like facing that way. <laughs> <laughs> they went really it. far. <laughs> no! 15. 15. You see Davian uh, and Sai. Uh, I'm assuming is also there. Um, yes. Like, following. And they also suddenly disappear from your view when they get close to the backside oh, of the shop. Oh no. <gasps> oh, okay. it's okay. around okay. the shop. Okay. Good. Real good to know. <laughs> and like, I will, Even okay. with your seeing visibility, yeah. they just disappear. They're gone. Seeing vision doesn't see through. Interesting. Yo, do I see any like weird ethereal plane shit over that area? Uh, wait, wait, wait. We disappear. Okay. These three guys disappear to us. Well, you no, know, as well. No, no, no. Uh, yeah, yeah, me, yeah, to you as well. I mean, uh, but to right. a Lazarin, as soon as you got close to the backside of the shop, you also disappeared. But obviously, you don't know that. Do Sai and I disappear to one another? Um, I'm assuming you're kind of like going in at the same time, right? Or is there like a distance yeah. to you guys? I don't well, think I mean, this. okay. <laughs> if 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 it's illusion from the outside. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. So the thing is, if you're following, following them, they're invisible, right? So you're just and they just disappeared. No, but, but they're invisible. I would probably hold up. 
to you. No, they're, they're invis invisible. Yeah, you so never, you never saw them. You, you just, just saw them. Just following, yeah, I'm just following their like you're footsteps. Following, you're following right. the tracks, so you don't footprints. see them disappear. You never see them disappear. For yeah, you, you just go there. in there, and I go, I'm like, that's where they are. I can't see them. Or okay, something happened. I see you guys. I'm like, they're on the hotel. Oh, they've gone. Fuck. Yeah. Like I've I've mm, connected that right. Door. I, and again, probably the same as the first time, as it, as we sort of caught on, these footprints are going straight to the, the back door of the tavern, uh, tavern's yeah. shop. We would the probably shop, hold yeah. up and be like, okay, probably it, a good idea not to go any closer. Uh, there's not necessarily uh, a back door, but uh, one of the windows, right as you approach, just gets shut from the inside. Mm. Right. So, I, I have a question. Okay, mm -hmm. so this, tr this uh, route comes yeah. out of the shop yes from the front or from the back from the front from the front does it go in sort of a like what sort of route do they take from the front door of the shop do they, they come basically out just go like around a, a few blocks around the shop in a clockwise motion and then when that route's complete they make their way to the back side of the shop and i i guess go in through the window um is Oh. This is gonna be a weird question. Is the front of the shop twelve o'clock or is it six? So they're going. That front way, or... would I guess be twelve. Okay. Wait, so we, they, go, they, go, like they go. They go. They go all the way around. Yeah. Or do they go all the way around they and go then all the way around until they basically yeah. like hit that square again and then they go like you know go around go back, back and and then just take a little whoop around yeah. the back. Yeah. Exactly. What's the need to go in the back when they came out the front? No, because it's for because me, for you to find out. <laughs> because the front, they're invisible, right? So when the per, oh, we'll fucking talk about this in character in a second. No, no, <laughs> I, I, no. I already, I, I think I know. I think the I, window <laughs> that they go in in the back goes into that office. Yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. They come out the front door that she like. She has to let them out. She lets them out. Yeah. She lets them out and they go and just leaves that window open for them to come back in without like having to open up the door again. Oh randomly. my god. So, oh my god. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We, gotta, yeah, we gotta talk about this in character. <laughs> yeah. 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 We, you guys come. Back. Yeah. But, Let's fucking go. Let's go. Right. <laughs> As we're like in the alleyway, is there like any um any other people on the rooftops near us that I can see? Make a perception check. Oh god, can I can I help him can I give him advantage on that to look around? How do you suggest you help him? <laughs> that I will also be looking. Sure. <laughs> no, I will come around behind him and I will go I will get my eyes and I'll give him binoculars like this in my eye. No, of course I'm just gonna be looking around Your with eyes? With hands. <laughs> <laughs> so he no, gives me we'll, his we'll, eyes. We'll look around like... together. Yeah, I'm just asking you to, to, to describe to me how you help him to make sure that I want to give you advance or not, that's all. Okay. Okay, in okay. that case... Because uh, we we'll want to take a keen look around before you head back anyway. with advantage. <clears throat> My perception oh, might even be it better. It is better. Advantage. It's 21. Uh, as far as you can tell, there's nobody watching you. No, okay. no okay. movements on the rooftops nearby. All right. Let's head back to the keep. See if they saw anything that we didn't. All right. I will and, like uh, yeah. told Kess at the top, like as I'm looking, you can kind of like hear like a Lazarus will just like gasp when like he sees them going middle. He's like, oh. "What happened? Very. Did someone get stabbed? No. <laughs> <laughs> they. Uh, I lost sight of them uh, uh -huh. when they got to the back of the shop, but uh, Davian and and Sai followed them. They also. I also lost sight of them as well, and they went to the back. There seems, an area an illusion. there seems to be some illusion magic at the back, or at least something Ooh. blocking sight. Very interesting indeed. <laughs> it's not all. <laughs> Hopefully, maybe they might have saw us see what they saw. Because mm. who knows what might be back there? Like someone with ass implants. There's illusion yeah. magic at the back. <laughs> oh my god. I... The whole time you guys are coming back, I'm like trying to follow you. I'm just there, like until like I see you getting close and I like run down. Like, I'm being super door. careful not to bump into people because I saw what happened when Brooks bumped into someone. <laughs> did that, like, <laughs> wide, wide berth from everyone. Well, technically, technically, the guy bumped into Brooks, right? You know, yeah, yeah. In Brooks, but... in his defense, but... <laughs> I was used to being the one bumping into people. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, I mean, at this point, fucking uh, Diagon and, and Jax will still be at the at at Smithy. Um, yeah, he just rented the place out, huh? Yeah. Really yeah. Oh, um, rich people. No, not the place. Just rented <laughs> one forge, right? Um, yeah. So you guys rendezvous at the keep. So, interesting point of order. Um, mm -hmm. Turned. There seems to be some sort of. I don't know if it's illusion magic or what, 
But when you got close... You disappeared! Kes, <laughs> I was going to do you. Try get. Sorry, yeah. you're taking too long. No, you dis you... I'm trying to say, you disappear from my side. So did they. I tracked them all the way, saw the route, and kind of say the route that I, I saw. Yeah. Um, when they got close to the back, they disappeared from my view completely. Couldn't see them. And then when you entered that same sort of area, you also disappeared from my sight. So it seems Ooh. there's something blocking. Uh, interesting. Very what, what, what did the back... Did the back look any different when you got closer to it? Did it change or...? Nothing seemed to change, but it okay. seemed as if they climbed in through a window at the back. Oh. That's useful. Initially, I was wondering why they would come out of the front and go in the back. But now I'm thinking... If uh, Vendetta has to let them out of the front and then they climb in a window at the back, we might intercept them next time. Or we can jump in the window. In, we intercept them and climb in the window ourselves. Hmm. Yeah, that's a good idea. Or if do we? A chance, that window leads into the office. Do we get there first, look into the window, see what's there, maybe even wait inside that room? That seems too risky because if they're doing it on a very, they're doing this on a very meticulously tight pattern that window might have only opened a second before they got there and closed immediately after they were in but so i think rather than getting there before them we'd be better to stop them midway and then try and get to the window on that same schedule oh, no, but if it was opened immediately before they went in it would mean she would have to disappear from the shop at yes, exactly at the, right, the time. right time and that's not predictable if you're working on like a, a shop floor I think we look at it. I it think we find that there, there could easily be a fourth person inside. I think we, I think we try, we try best look at. Kesh, you're able to go invisible, correct? I am. I th <laughs> think it might be worth a chance. We look at that back bit. Have us there close by, just so you can, you know, go in completely alone. But you check it out. See if you can see anybody in the window. Don't go into the window. I won't go, go anywhere. Do anything like that. Just as easily send Thorn too. Yeah, yeah. Oh, bloody hell, we could just send Thorn. Don't mm. even have to risk you. Um, but I'm, I'm thinking. Time. I'm thinking now. Now you mentioned that there's some sort of illusion that obscured mm. us. What if, from the outside of the illusion, the mm. window looks always looks closed? That's what I'm saying. Then, right. Did yeah. you notice any difference between the outside and? I was. But I know you weren't paying. You know. My nose was this far from the fucking floor most yeah, of the time, true. so I wasn't looking too much. Okay, well, that's what we can look at. We can see if there's any differences. See if that window is open the whole time, just part of the time. So what we do is, if, you know, we know the schedule. We know we got what 80, 80 minutes from now, probably 10, 10 minutes or so. We know that sort of schedule. Look back there once they leave. Keep have keep an eye on that door that they come out from because we know she's going to open up the door again leave check it out come back we don't do anything today we just look get as much information as we can then we go again tomorrow and that's when we strike I if don't. if no not done if that's if brooks well enough i don't know how long this affliction takes i assume he just needs a couple of days rest but he might need a bit longer I thought you were going to say, I assume he just needs a cuppa for a second, and I was like... No, 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 no. He <laughs> probably needs that as well, but... Uh... Yeah, no, that that sounds good. We can just, we can stake it out a little longer. The more yes. we know, the better. Yes. yes, I would also like to um, redo their route and see if yes. I can notice any more uh, abyssal in inscriptions on the walls, on somewhere on the street, I, anything like that. I mean, I can... <clears throat> Did I see that if they where they stopped? If anywhere else? Um, yeah, they made like short stops. Oh. Uh, it seems that they spent the most time like when they stop. It's typically like only a couple minutes. The only yeah. place where they stop longer is when they are on that rooftop near the yeah, shop itself. Cool. I will. But you've seen them systematically yeah. pause. I'll go to size. So like, um, if you go up, I can show you on the spyglass upstairs where they stopped. Mm, you can yes. look at those. We can look at those rooftops now. Kind of start walking upstairs with them as we like yeah, talking and just them. kind of like. Hand in my, my spy glass and I'm like just over there, that rooftop there as well. It seems that's the order they went in, was like that. All right, it's good to know. And they did they, un I guess, uncloak at each of these stops, yeah. Okay, that's good to know. I don't know if I would know the difference if you would not because you see things that are invisible as uh, if they were not, as if they are so. visible. So well, I would, know. I would know because I was watching, yeah. Kess yeah, would know, Kess would know. Kess would and, know, and yeah. Sai and me who are following them would have seen yeah, true, them, would have seen know. them eventually, yeah, yeah. 
But just like to double, just so you definitely know like which ones it is, because you probably like half saw them, but like like not fully. Mm -hmm. Um, I will. Well, yeah, I'm just thinking if they didn't unclog and they stopped, then I would like follow the footprints until I bumped into one of them, right? <laughs> so like, a good good job they unclogged. Hmm. If okay, if they were using, if they were all three going invisible together. <laughs> Uh, they, yeah, that, they, they're either throw, burning through spell slots or they have something that makes the group of them invisible, like an item, right? I mean, invisibility can last an hour. Just one spell. Oh, actually, yeah, there's a thought. How long was the route in total? 90 minutes, wasn't it? No, no, that's no, not no, no the route's one. about 45 minutes. <gasps> oh. Okay, uh, including the 10-minute start, it was 45 minutes. Yeah. I'm just fucking that 15 minutes on. Um. Okay. Was it the same three? No, it's really hard to tell. Who's okay. Yeah, I mean, I assume like up, even the spy. Up. I assume if the spy goes on, they were still pretty fucking like. Not because you're yeah, looking from a top down. I mean, you so you, you hadn't seen the first heads, group right? either, so. No. And were yeah. their builds okay. just? Did they just look three similar humanoid kind of. Yeah. It just what didn't look cloaked, like armored. Yeah, no, it like, wasn't like a halfling or a, or a dwarf or something. No, no, they, were, they were all like or a similar, Goliath. similar heights. Yeah. Yeah. Similar heights. Storm no giant. Minotaurs. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, we will. I think we uh, wait till Jackson Dagen uh, come back. Let them know. Maybe mm. can you guys can do one more investigation if you want, but. Well, we can we can go and watch go. the window and you know keep an eye on all that right now. Yes. And then start okay. planning things out for tomorrow. I can go with you and send Thorn over, and yeah, I can that's... telepathically yeah. communicate with him, yes. that, so that, you can hear you it in real time. You don't go in. You go. You. But it's but 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 you. I'm quite bad. I'm gonna fucking shake. You go. Thorn goes. You you stay out. Yeah, the three of us will sit probably. 200 feet away on a roof and we'll stand Thorn up. I'm mostly curious to see what it looks like when Thorn disappears as he gets closer to the shot. See what she sees. But yeah, Kess can bring a spyglass so we can um, keep an eye on it. I'll keep an eye out from uh, the rooftop. I won't be able to you know, see them if they're invisible or not, but at least I'll be able to keep an eye from afar and see if any you guys get into trouble at all. I can alert people. Hmm. Okay. I'll just keep that on the back of the shop or anything else. And then, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll just kind of perch myself up. I um, might even get Brooke, so like, Brooke, do you want to help keep a lookout, or do you just I want to rest up? Fucking something, otherwise I'm gonna go absolutely do a lally. Yeah, come on then, and I'll kind of bring him up and... What is that? I'll chat and just kind of like, show him the spyglass, <laughs> but like, just we're looking out over there a bit. Just uh, you know. Oh, I'm not very good at it, but I'll give it a go. I mean, I'm, I'm, I've got quite a sight on me. Just keep a lookout. Does it look quite scenic from up here? Is it quite like a? Um, like, is it cute? Um, I mean, Alazrin on a no, date. I don't mean like that. Well, I, mean, it's, um, I know it's industrial city, but it's still it's you're in a hard. very industrial town, and there's a lot of factories <laughs> and uh, you know, how brutal is of it? Smoke. How brutal into the it sky. Is. How brutal it is. That's <laughs> pretty bad. <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, square, 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 square. That's pretty fucking bad. No, because it's really up here. There's just a layer of fog. Yeah, I'm like, it's a foggy day. <laughs> <laughs> no. And then, yeah, I'll just keep a lookout and wait for Tothers to get to their point. All right. So, what's happening? Uh, Kess, Sai, and I are all going to go down into the city. Okay. Wait, before we're back? Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay. Y yeah. I mean... We're just going to set up like 100, uh, 200 feet 100. Um, behind where the shop is. Okay. On, on a roof. 100. Okay. <laughs> And we're gonna just send Thorn up and basically s try and figure out if there's an illusion of the rear of the shop 
from far away compared to close up. And then, I guess, judging on when, when they're going to be going and, and coming. Mm-hmm. Is the window does the window only open when they get close, or is the window open early? Do they open the window? I mean, do you and enter, it's just an illusion enter, that the window is being closed. Do you enter this? What you we send Thorn. You... We, we're okay. sending Thorn. To... Yeah, Thorn is going, um... and he's gonna talk telepathically with me. Right. So in that case, Thorn notices that uh, the window is open. Um, for you guys, it seems to be closed. Right. Um, and it seems that the window just stays open. Easy. That's good news. Okay. Do you want to go news. inside and see where the window is open to? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> can we he can look just, in? Yeah, yeah. He can just, like, go up to the edge of it and not go through. Yeah, just send him to, like, look through. I'm a little worried what might happen if he crosses the... I'm going to keep an eye on the other rooftops as we're up That's here. Sure, like perception way. check, uh, Sai? Man, I'm keeping, I'm keeping an eye on the moon if I see... 16. Good to know. Uh, you don't really see much um, yeah. at this point in time. Is is um, Hawthorne going in? I'm going to tell him to like go up to the edge of the window and look in. Don't okay. cross the threshold. Now he is invisible, but that yeah, might not invisible. be of any use. Uh, he goes in, uh, look, very, uh, he can telepathically communicate with you, right? Yep. Uh, in some kind of office, I think. Is there, um, a chest bolted to the floor? Yeah. Come back. Okay. And we do a group high five on the rooftop. <laughs> <laughs> then it freeze frames. Good job, team! Uh, do you guys just return to the keep after that? Or Yeah. Uh, okay. We'll say at this point, you know, eventually uh, the, the day goes by and uh, uh, Jax and uh, Daigon return to the keep as well. When uh, Jax and Di Daigon get back, I'll cast Exposition. <laughs> good. Let them know and just be like, so we, uh, we'll wait for them just to come back and we'll see what they... Uh, found out but if it is that the window is kept open looks like we've got ourselves a good uh good spot that sounds incredible how did your forging go uh very well actually um brooks yeah. uh, i i i have a few um things for you and i will hand him the brewer's kit that i found in that wreckage I don't know if he already has one, but you have one now. And then I will hand him the Gorgon Horn Brass Knuckles. I don't think okay. I did have a brewer's kit. Or Gorgon Horn Knuckles. I... Anyways. Gorgon Knuckles. What sort of metal is Gorgon? Uh, this is very... Sil like, like it looks very, like, silvery. Um, very shiny. Adamantine. In foil. Yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> Tungsten. To keep all the aliens out. Mm. Uranium. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, so you guys have like a set of, of, of just like, you know, brass knuckles. They're made of iron. And it's coated so in a shiny. waxy substance that helps them prevent from rusting. Hmm. So they're brass knuckles made from iron that won't rust. They're iron knuckles that are Yeah, pretty much. Look silver. Well, oh, I'm sure the wax coating was damaged or removed somehow during the forging process, so they're just iron knuckles. Probably. Lost. Don't ruin this for me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I, I don't know what I did to deserve this, but thank you. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> uh, so, um, are we doing? Uh, are we making a move tonight? I have no idea. I've been half asleep through most of the conversations. Yeah, I think the plan is that tomorrow we are going oh, back. to. Uh... At dawn, we attack. Not at yeah, dawn. Yeah, when when we get back, Kaz is just going. Dawn is the most inconspicuous time. 
Quarter past four. That's and I think late. In the morning. No. <laughs> now we're talking. <laughs> yeah. No. Um. Yeah. What did you guys find? The window is open. open. The window is open. <laughs> so we they leave it open. are asleep. Hey. They leave it they open. They use an illusion to make it look like it's closed, but it's open. It's open. Yeah. And it goes directly into the office with the bolted chest and everything. So we wait outside for them, ambush them out. And then we might, need not, we might not even need to ambush them. We could we probably could just, just slam them. Yes, but we don't window. want them coming the in after us. They will. No. Unless, what, if we close the window, they won't see that coming. They'll be like, oh, fuck. Oh, what do we do? Oh, we fuck. Close. We can't open the window. Does anybody have, like, some sort of I don't know, locking mechanism or something that could they maybe even, like, hold the window down? Could maybe, like, I don't know, tie it? I don't know I don't, what's on the other side. I can definitely if, it's, if it's a window that slides up, yeah, but you're going to have difficulty. Well, no, because they can't slide up because it'd be locked down by the rope. So, taut rope can't open it up. Where it's are tight. you going to fasten a rope on a window the... that slides up to tie it down? There might be a hand. I, 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 I don't know. That's what I'm saying. Well, maybe in between it. Hmm? That's what. That's what I'm saying. Is there all like a mech? You know, we need to look inside. I, I also that's what I'm have saying. fifty yes. feet of hemp rope and fifty feet of silk rope. What kind of window was it? Uh, it's just like, a, like a slidey, slidey uppy. It is a slide up window. I don't See. Know. Makes our lives really. It feels difficult. nicer on your wrist. I mean, <laughs> fuck it out. <laughs> or or legs. Ah, or the wrist. Jax. <laughs> Full of surprises. My man. <laughs> oh no! I love the feel of hemp and rope. Slit has his throat. Whoa. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I guess tomorrow afternoon. I see. Yeah. The things we have to see them once. Once we know what they're doing it, we can go. Can you just nail part. it closed? That's what I'm saying. We'll figure out a way to shut the door. The door window. We're going to be in the back office of a shop, and you want us to pull out a hammer and nails and just start banging nails through the window. <laughs> we not you can hammer things quietly. <laughs> can you? Could we not just kill them? Yeah, and the yeah we could. I was saying, we could kill them just like before they get Didn't back. Didn't you say they stop somewhere for a little bit? Yeah. Right near the start. Well, if we kill them where they stop, and that means we've still got time. You know, we're not running to catch up with the window. I kind of want to kill them. Oh, the window's open the whole time, it seems like. so. Kill them underneath the illusion, so we don't draw attention to It's them. just, yeah, we can... It, it, if they have some way, or one of them gets away to alert Vendetta, yeah. you know, rather than... Yeah. All I'm saying is w with the option to just climb in the window ourselves as soon as they leave, I, so that we've got time, I is, think, is, is we, there. I think yeah, I, I like I like the plan of going has, into the window, locking it down. Like some sort of magical arms, and they just come. Well, then we'll figure that out when we get there. Magic alarms, right? I heard magical arms, and I was like, "What the <laughs> fuck?" Did... No, no, no. Dagon has those. Yeah. I doubt. Well, no, never mind. I'm not going to go there. Um. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> yes. I think... Would she have magic? Oh. Almost said it again. Magic <laughs> alarms on the window for 45 minutes at a time at 45 minute increments. Probably not. So I think we'll be fine to just slip in there as soon as they leave. Wait, do you think no. it's fine that she has illusion magic completely blocking this area? But well, not it's an one, alarm. right, right, right. But it's one thing to put an illusion on something indefinitely than to come through every 45 minutes, turn the alarm off so they can climb in, turn okay, it back. But you know what I mean? I don't know how magic works. They they might just not trigger the alarm. Wait, did, yeah, I was going to say, didn't Jack say that you can pick people that wouldn't trigger it? Yeah. Yes. Would you be able to identify an alarm spell if we got to the window? Yes. Would you be able to dispel an alarm spell if we go to the window? No. <laughs> dispel without them knowing? Yeah, preferably. No. <laughs> <laughs> I think so close to greatness. I think we just I'm already great. I think mm. we just go in, right? Well, if we set an alarm, we set an alarm. What's she gonna have to do? She'll the worst she'll do is she'll panic and have to like in the middle of customers suddenly kick everybody out, go into her back office. Something we I do don't think she'll kick everyone out. She'll be like everyone oh, out for it's fucking the people breaking into my shop, bust the door down and fucking light us up. Yeah, uh, why deputized. does she have to kick people out? We're they can't do anything to us. We're deputized. Yeah, we're above like, the law. 
Well, we don't, know. Know. We don't even have to pay taxes at this point. Um, what are taxes? You've been paying taxes? Oh, We're sovereign pay. citizens. Yes, I oh, I definitely pay my fair share of taxes, taxes and don't have a weird loophole scheme oh. in a different area. Oh, um, I forgot. You probably buy all that whole fucking temple of your taxes to it. <laughs> no, it's a charity. You can have the church. Uh, no, I get a reduction. Yeah. Oh. All oh, right. Your tax exempt. Yes. Exactly. Goldenlady.org, not goldenlady.com. Yeah. Slash. <laughs> Oh, oh, these biscuits, they were a charitable donation, so I can write that off. Yes. I don't understand right, well, anything about what's being said right now. I, yeah. I, signed, I signed a kiss. If it helps, I don't know what taxes are either. Bureaucracy kiss. I thing I told you about before. More of that. <laughs> Why does this exist? It seems awful. <laughs> exactly. Basically, any money you make, you have to sort of give some to the important people. So that they're kind of it. like a tithe. Yes, well, exactly like what a tithe, tithe is. Ah. Are we on the ground floor of the keep? We didn't know that. Nobody's called it a tithe in the last like two hundred fucking years. Well, it depends on the context. The tax is like to the state, but a tithe is to like a church, right? Is that not the difference? Uh, it can be to an in, 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 That's. I don't know how much of a separation there is between church and state here. Well, given how many churches there are, hopefully a big one. Mm, that would get <laughs> confusing. For Elazarin. Yes. Elazarin. Oh. Elazarin, you Elazarin, fix your voice box. Elazarin's voice uh -oh. seems to be faltering. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, he's, he's, he's choking on all that parts that he had earlier. <laughs> Alright, so when are we going in tomorrow? At some point. At dawn. No, I'm joking. I don't know when. I, I think we should do it at dawn. <laughs> I know. I don't know. I hate you so know. much, Bell. No, we need, to, <laughs> we need to go to a point where the door is slightly busier. We can't do it when it's Okay, dead. well, I noticed there was a slight midday. rush about 11 o'clock right before lunch. 11 o'clock midday, yes. That's perfect. We'll do it there. Wait, why don't, don't we do it when lunch. they're not in the shop? Doesn't she leave in the evening? Well, she may not leave the window open when she's not in the shop. Yeah, she's not yeah, that's, that's, that's a good point. They did the round after she left. No, Remember, but, they do the round after she leaves. Yes, but I That's think... That's true, actually. So I, she would have had to leave the window open. But she doesn't always... I don't think she always leaves her shop. I d we don't know where she comes back. I think the best time to do it is when the store is busy because she will be distracted by customers. And that way, make it, right. if we do end up making noise, getting make noise, it something, be it might be customers. masked by yes. going on in the store. I agree, to be honest. Past. We do it also, night, given what pr is probably in that office, she's less likely to go fannying around in there when there's a lot of people in the shop. Yes. Mm -hmm. There's a chance at night she comes back. Someone and just like, make a decision so we can go fucking... We're going at 11... 11, 11, 11. 11. Well, okay. Uh, using my magical brain powers that I'm sure I'm aware of exactly the time every 90 minutes will determine whatever point that they will be leaving the shop on patrol is the point that we will... Yes. Close <laughs> to 11. Can make an intelligence check? Past uh, 11 at some point. We'll get to the shop at 11. Natural 20! No fucking oh, oh, baby! baby. What a time. Best nat 20 of all time. Alright, yeah, no, you'll be good. You'll be good. Cool. Well then, I say we... start just preparing ourselves. You know. Hardly breakfast, get good, good rest sleep. Enjoy this evening, oh, but don't enjoy it too much. Fucking... I mean tomorrow, you prick. Right. <laughs> yes, well, say, we can, we can prepare to have a good hard breakfast so I'm probably tomorrow. going to take an early bedtime. Yes. No drinking heavily tonight, yeah, boys. We need to be on our... Time. We need yes, to be on our... We need What's to heavy? be on our... Um, more than one. The crushing weight of everything we have to deal with. We need to be on our top form. Can't be having hangovers. If you're drinking as much as Brooks, be worried. I would be much impressed as... if any of you could drink as much as me. If you're drinking a quarter drink as much you. as you're worried. Depends where I am. He's got a point. When I'd already been fucking drinking really before It depends where you are. Oh, I've already been drinking. You drank me on the day I was already drinking. <laughs> <laughs> Closer to the equator, Kess's air pressure of Ganassi uh, yeah, nature allows it to drink more. Right, sir? Right. <sighs> yeah. It's, it's based on alti bro. altitude. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's a good how, how far thing. you are from like sea level. But can you drink more when you're higher up or lower down? Higher up, obviously. 
Because you're less dense. <laughs> Although you're fairly dense all of the time, Kess, I've got to be honest. Wait. That sounds like it's insulting, and I don't understand why. It is insulting. And you it's are just proving insulting. my point. Called you an idiot. <gasps> I'm gonna hit him. <laughs> he's not always. He's not always wrong, but. Ow. Oh. Anywho, <laughs> good night to you all, and I will see you in the morning at dawn. Should um, should we go check out the uh, the hotel to see if there's a missile there as well? Oh, I'll be not doing that today. I don't. I think we're gonna get as much invasion as we can of these people. I don't think there's. We shouldn't risk it. All right. No. I mean, First, if there is, you. if you want to go out, look, you. Well, it, 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 it actually made a point that the stops they made between were a lot shorter than the initial one, yes. and the main, the longest stop they made was abyssal that literally just details what time they stopped in and how long for, pretty much. So it doesn't really. I, I don't think there's going to be too much merit to it, but. <clears throat> I will gladly humor you if you want, uh, so we can go. Yeah, if you're going to go, at least take Gift yeah, in with you. Buddy just system. Be just be careful. Hmm. Not much I can she do can to learn. You never know what there might be, you know. I'm not Jax. Just, I say keep an eye out uh, on the keep rooftop until you see them again, and then uh, <laughs> go after that. All right. So you know. That's right. so mean. So I'll lead the way. We've got a small window, I think, before they go out on another one. <laughs> Alright, so what's the plan? Um, Just quickly checking the other spots for the other spots. abyssal, abyssal yeah. writing if there's any, and also on, like on street level, like mm -hmm. if on any walls or anything, if there's any more abyssal, if I just see any more abyssal like inscriptions, basically. Specifically make, on the on the route, I guess. Um, yeah. Make an investigation check. All right. Man's going abyssal hunting. <laughs> While he's <laughs> doing this, can I just keep watch and make sure we're not like make a perception check? No one's following us. No one might be, you know, if we're taking it too too slow and they might be catching up or something. It's a dirty twenty <laughs> gonna, for investigation. Like twenty or twenty five. Jesus. Oh, yeah, I'm not gonna. Is that like the that. third natural twenty in a row? <laughs> the fuck? Twice in a row on the same fucking die too. <laughs> nice. Um. You sigh. Mm -hmm. Find on street level, near one of the stops, pretty much like under one of the stops, mm -hmm. a loose brick, which you kind of pry at, and when the when you pull the brick out, there is a small, like, journal mm -hmm. notebook uh, stashed oh, behind shit. it. Okay. Uh, lay. I show it to Davian, like, look, right here. And I just, is it, I don't touch it, like, is it inside the brick? It's like, um, you... Or is it inside the, the wall? Of, you, you pull the brick out of the wall, and it's inside the wall. Do you think it's, do you think it's trapped? I don't know. Does it look it's trapped? Long Make an investigation <laughs> check. Oh, oh god, another one! <laughs> 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 it's not as good. Ugh. 14. As far as you can tell, it's not trapped. I take it. Okay. It's trapped. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> no. Um... <laughs> the whole city crumbles down the, on top the of you. The entire city just sinks to a crater. Um... Nah, I pulled that card before. I can do it again. It's right? a pretty yeah. important journal, goddamn. Uh... Yeah, no, you, 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 you have the journal in your hand. and. Can I, like, do I, like, really quick just looking at it, is it written in Abyssal? Uh, no. Hmm. It's written in common. Okay. Oh. That's what is what's the latest this? entry? Yeah, what's the latest entry? Uh, dated two days ago. And it reads? I would like everyone to deafen... Oh, God. <laughs> oh, boy. Let's go first. I'm scared, uh, yeah, dude. I'm scared. Because Sai's obviously going to fucking yeah, I'm, relay this. Oh, I'm, I'm telling this 100%. Yeah, yeah. 100%. Um, oh, I mean, I'm pretty much reading, showing him while I'm reading. The is written by someone uh, called uh, Rictor. R-I-K-T-O-R. Uh, and it's okay. describing how he is afraid. Um, he describes that Fearcrag has 
not been the same since he made a pact with an otherworldly being. Sometimes catch him having conversations with himself in Abyssal. And that he uh, he's concerned. Oh shit, okay. Do, does does someone having conversations with themselves in Abyssal mean anything to me in terms of, like, the... Tracking a of, shadow demon? Yeah, business? yeah. <laughs> in terms of that. Um... Yeah? Oh, God. Okay. It definitely does. bears similarities. Co yes. About Kossuth. He talks primordial, right? Like he doesn't. That's primordial, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just turn to uh, Davin and be like, "This could be what I'm looking for." You know, Malek. Mm. I don't know. It seems like another huge coincidence, but if the, it keeps happening, the abyssal. Well, I mean, speaks for itself, I suppose. We could leave him a note. Do you think? Ah, oh, fuck. Yes. What should we say? Well, uh, before we write anything, we should bring this to the group. We will we'll, we'll not bring I the journal, but I put we'll, it we'll, back. We'll, yes, we'll, pull, we'll put um, it back. One thing you also note, because you, you, you know, you, you, you're, um, there has been a entry in this journal every day for the last six months. Oh no! Except today. Oh fuck! And yesterday, the last entry was two days ago. Oh, describing shit. these worries. He's dead. Should we just take the notebook? What do you think? Maybe he went on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. I think right. we leave it because whoever... Let's well, just leave it. We can always come back. Yeah, we can always come back. Yeah, I'll put it back and real quick and just in make the sure he's not no one's looking. Dead. And Yeah. yeah. Good. In the event he's not dead, maybe we can leave him a note, but otherwise we can just <clears> explain <throat> what we've seen. Okay, well, yeah. we're going to start heading... I mean, we'll continue. Oh, it's miles away. Sorry. <laughs> oh, fuck. So you make your way to the keep? Well, I'll cont we'll con I think we'll continue yeah. finishing the round, okay. make sure there's no other things we notice, no. and uh, that'd no, that be pretty it. much it. That is it. Okay. Cool. And then we make it back to the keep. Okay. Cool. Again, like that fucking anxious parent. I'm just there, like at the fucking door, <laughs> just like, well, like s searching all the time, like looking for. The you have like infinite, glass. infinite dark vision and a fucking spyglass. You yeah, can I'm literally lucky. watch us the whole way for the. Yeah, this, this, that's why. That's what I did. But I'm still yeah. like anxiously, like I wait, like run fucking down when I see like, your game close. Such Which a like... helicopter parent. <laughs> yeah, he's fucking he's right. Like for in his, his in his dressing gown and slippers, like hurrying down the stairs, like. I'm a danger. I'm a break. Sick. <laughs> Right. Um, I told you to be home before the street lights came on. Yeah, we'll get into <laughs> get into the the little uh, extra quarters that we've been given, mm -hmm. um, and when everyone's sort of together, fucking. <clears throat> so we uh, we didn't really find anything too closely related to the patrols, but mm -hmm. uh, Sai found a journal. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, of a man named Richter. I'm going to be very angry that you read it. <laughs> oh, shut up. <laughs> I did read it, actually. Did you it talks... It no, I put it back. It was in that wall. Did you not see when we took a, a break? It's out? hard to see. There was. Uh, I saw you stop uh, for a while, but it... <laughs> How is Richter spelled? R-I-K-T-O-R. Uh, okay, thank you. Oh, that's not how I spell it. <laughs> It was because of the French accent. Don't worry. R I C H T E R. Yeah. R I C H T E R. Richter. Richter. Um, he talks about how he's. At least we didn't read it thoroughly, but every day there was an entry. Every single day for the last six months. And for the last two days, nothing. And the last entry is about being afraid of fear crag. And that he's talking to himself in Abyssal. Fear is... that is. Not yes. Richter. Yes. 
talking to either something or did he did not know. But this does it's... remind me of how people communicate with shadow demons. I was about to say this might be a bit of a stretch, but is this not you know another, what you're looking for? Another crazy coincidence. I mean, yeah, I don't know, dude. God, if shadow we find demon. out, I assume a shadow demon speaks abyssal. Mm. He's God, been yes. communicating that, that what they speak. with some other Dead, being, possibly, no, or being. Yeah, and well, just if did a Fib, quick if feedback. back, it's not the same language as Kossuth, so we're all good there. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if Fearcrog ends up having a tattoo on his shoulder, God, what a coincidence that be. <laughs> like with all of us. Um, so um, ultimate bad guy. Yes. For you, this, um, you know, last time you uh, encountered this shadow demon in particular. Uh, oh, bye, Ethan. Ooh. Again. <laughs> right, dude. I'm so cursed today. That's I'm the fuck. Cursed. Um... Uh, the your your friends and, and you know your your family um they started showing signs of madness and speaking in a language that you did not even know they spoke and maybe they perhaps they didn't at first mm. um and you know from your research that shadow uh shadow demons like hanging around um people or places that just cause destruction and death that is what they do um combining that with the journal entry you read and the fact that at some point fear Krog did come and come across a creature from the abyss oh shit um i mean you don't want to get your <laughs> hopes up because it might be a little too good to be true but this is as big as a lead as you've ever had in in terms of your search. Yeah. Such a huge lead right now. I've never been, at least, never been this close to a possible physical, uh, you know, lead. This, uh, I just feel like it could be, it could be him. It could be Malek. That's great news. Mm. Is it good? I, I guess. Don't know if For science, great, great news. news. Yes, it also means <laughs> that we have the prospect of facing a shadow demon tomorrow. And I'm not, yeah. I'm not on my top list of things I wanted to face. So we've got the possibility of facing a shadow demon and something using the power of Kosuth Tear and, and a dragon, maybe. Vendetta, the magical tiefling, magical man, lady, and lady. <laughs> everything else in between. Goes a grin for uh, so even more reason for us to get good rest tonight. I think uh, got a busy day tomorrow. If there's one thing that will help us overcome the forces of evil, it's a good night's sleep. <laughs> it won't <laughs> not help, <laughs> Davian. <laughs> Unless we all get stabbed in our sleep. Well, then fantastic. Well, it wasn't. I don't think it was the sleep that killed us. Then I think it was the knife in the back. <laughs> Who says I'd stab you in the back? Front, surely. Depends how he Depends sleeps. How he sleeps. I just, I, oh, I, I jinx! Wanna clarify. Jinx! I want to clarify that that was a joke. Jinx doesn't apply to Ganassi. You're Not, a special lot, you are. It's certainly I'm something. I'm to stab a Lazarin in his sleep. <clears throat> oh, you can do it on the way. I'm planning to stab Ness in his sleep at this point. <laughs> no, no, I'm not planning to stab you at all. That's alright then. Maybe we'll just pull you know, If it happens spontaneously, it happens, but. You spontaneously stab him in his sleep? Okay. Do you, you have wild just... nightmares? <sighs> Maybe you don't sleep with knives around you. Only if I have lots of cheese before we go to bed. <laughs> no cheese. I don't understand, but don't eat cheese. What? Cheese gives cheese you nightmares. Causes, cheese causes nightmares. Oh. I've never heard that. I've, I've never experienced that. Have you, you ever eaten cheese? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, pretty sure we've seen Cass eat cheese. I don't think I've ever seen Cass eat cheese. <laughs> oh, is is this your uh, is this your conspiracy theory that Cass doesn't eat cheese? I think Cass is secretly a vegan. Uh, maybe she's lactose intolerant. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. 
Yes. Of all um, the crimes, apparently, according to Davian. <clears throat> <laughs> so, for the sake of brevity, because uh, yeah, you, are, yeah. uh, you, are, you are cutting it close, Kasago uh, has to go uh, soon. Yeah. Um, is there yeah. anything you guys want to do to prepare for tomorrow before you go to bed? Uh, not before some cheese. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have a terrible <laughs> night's sleep. No, fuck all. Damn it, don't. I'm. I, there's nothing you can do about it. I just. <laughs> It's not I just this. ate a whole cheese I'm wheel, up. motherfucker. What are you going to do? <laughs> what do you think this is? Skyrim? <laughs> not for, for um... Yes. Given our plan to go yes. through a window and into whatever lies below. At 11 a.m. tomorrow. <laughs> I'm going to take the opportunity, since what I can do it like once per day, to have, turn Onu into a doggo. Okay. Um, Doggy Onu. So you, uh, you you find like a little little, little little fireplace in the barracks, uh, lighted on fire. Onu gets uh, beside you, uh, looks at you, gives you gives you one final. Uh, As I pluck a feather and with his uh, beak, crinkle it into the fire, and his uh, his his shoebill stork f form kind of shifts and changes and. He once more turns into this painted dog that you have summoned before. He kind of yeah, like we'll you know shakes little... his head and like his like long ears kind of go. <laughs> <laughs> give, him, give, give him pets and I don't know, <laughs> feed him some leftover meat or something, and uh, yeah, be ready Sounds to go good. in the morning. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. And with that, anyone else have anything that they want to do before heading to bed for the night? Nah, just disappear into my vessel again. Yep. And be I just morning, continue I'll... the journal entry from last night because it's a longer one, so it's probably going to take me a few nights of just here and there. Okie dokie. I would like to sit and pet Onu for about <laughs> 10 minutes. <laughs> I'll, I don't know, Onu can fucking, like, sleep <laughs> on, I'll, I'll just... uh, on Brooks's bed while he's <laughs> tired and recovering. <laughs> The man got stabbed, like... he can have a dog at his feet. Yeah. <laughs> That's fair. Yes, yeah, so I'll sit next to the window and just kind of like look out and just think about the entire journey that brought him to this point. And feel the wind yeah. in your wind. Um, yeah. For Sai, obviously, um, you know, you, you lay down in bed and um, you kind of think back, you know, what what drove you to to start this, this investigative uh you know what now is your job um yeah your your encounter with 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 the shadow demon that just caused uh destruction and chaos around you and anyone you really uh, really anyone you cared for literally and everyone yeah pushing yourself teaching yourself the language they speak abyssal uh reading up spending so many years um learning as much as you can about the abyss and about uh, the, the figures of power and and where in the hierarchy of abyssal creatures shadow demons fall and and what drives them um you've always had a knack for you know taking investigations that brought with it a lot of destruction and death uh because you've always had that like secret like hope like hey potentially um and it seems that this 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 could be it this entire scheme of entire towns and villages being burnt to a crisp people inside just completely just burning alive um combining that with the journal entry that you found or the journal that you found with the entry that you read um at this this could be it and that both motivates you but also <laughs> you're about to confront like the oh the literal devil of your uh, you know, or the demon, the, your literal demon, I guess, is a good way of putting it. Um, so, you know, nerves, bit, bit rough just, night of just, sleep. Just a bit, just a but, bit. But, um, you know, not, not rough enough for you to, like, not get your rest, but definitely, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. Restless night of sleep. A restless night of sleep, yeah. But eventually, um, morning comes. You all wake up, get ready. You have a plan. You have kind a time, of. and now it's time to uh, get back in action, or get to action. And we'll uh, see what happens next week, I think. 
Oh, oh, will Cassie cheese oh. on the next episode of Birds of <laughs> So, well, uh, this will be where we <clears> leave <throat> it, and uh, we'll pick this up next. You're here, right? Uh, next week, Soko. Yes. <laughs> Oh, fuck him. Yeah, fuck him. I, be, I, I know I don't have work, but I'm not sure if I'll actually be here. Boo. Okay, well, let us, so. let us, let us know, please. Well, it's Thanksgiving um, weekend, so. Oh, true, American oh, Thanksgiving. True. Yeah, yeah. Visit Thanksgiving All right, thank Thanksgiving. you so much for watching, everybody. Um, hope for table table RPGs. Thanks so much for the raid. And uh, Arthiarn, thanks for the follow. Appreciate you. Welcome on in, welcome on in. Sorry, you yeah. had to come in towards the end of the session. Going live in seven minutes. Um, yeah, they're going live, yeah, yeah. but not. But um, yeah. hopefully, you know, we'll Big see up. you again next time. We do a lot of stuff here. Uh, we stream Divinity oh, every Monday. Oh, they we just stream, went live. Uh, Dungeon Discourse every Thursday, and we stream uh, our campaign, Dungeon Select, every Sunday. So, uh, you know, hopefully, mm. see you next time. If there's any more people on uh, out here. That have not followed yet, please do so. I think we're like two away from 200. Don't be kind of kind of. And really close to 100 yeah. subscribers on the YouTube as well. And really close to 100 oh, subscribers yeah. on YouTube, dude. Look at that, awesome, awesome stuff. Um, so please we'll be live again to tomorrow you. to um, play Divinity. Uh, this vod will Brooks be up. Die. <laughs> this vod will be up on YouTube on Wednesday. Yes, next time. Wednesday. Question mark. Cool. Yes. Um, as for discourse, audio shall only. we do discourse with the duo that was supposed to go last week, but we didn't do because yeah. of things? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Soko, you let me know if you can make it or not. Just like, let me yeah, know. Yeah, it's on Thanksgiving, I, so I just, I'm I don't know. I'm good either way, so I'll yeah, be Yeah, okay, that's fine. Just let me know, Soko. Like, if you can't, then yeah, I'll... Yeah, I just need to figure out what time dinner's at. And... Yeah, that's fine. Okay, cool. Um, thank you so much for watching, everybody. Did Dicely just go live? Yeah, yes. they just went live. Yeah, Beautiful. Yeah. That means we're going to give play Dicely a little raid. The people Go that play Dicely are a friend. uh, good friend of ours. We love what they do, and they're awesome people. And uh, show them some love. Let they're in such know. a good spot right now. They're playing D and D as well. Uh, they're yeah. also playing D and D, of course. So show them some love. Hit them up with uh, you know some follows and all the good shit. And uh, we'll be here. We'll catch you next Sunday for the next uh, session of Dungeon Select. We'll be here tomorrow. For some good old Divinity Original Sin 2 shenanigans. So, you know, That's there is the that. One. That's the ticket, baby. Take care, everybody. Have a good night. Hope you guys had a great weekend. Bye. Catch you next time. Bye. Bye, -bye. Later. Bye.